killer. Trenches. Beats data. Another one. What a good be, hope this one should be this your boy N O R E. What up is DJ E F N and the Dream Chats motherfucker Yappy Hour. Make, Make some noise! Yeah! And when we talk about a producer's producers, we talk about a mogul, we talk about a legend, we talk about an icon, we talk about a hit maker, the Quincy Jones of our time, the mm -hmm. only person that can work with with the Michael J uh, Jackson of our time, mm -hmm. numerous amounts of times. Goats come out the house for him. He's a legend upon legend, mogul upon mogul. He's he got he got deals with Michael Jordan. Mm. That's true. Michael Jordan co-signs his feet. <laughs> a good way to put it. He's a goddamn legend. He's been out here making hits. I think it's his 13th album. Yeah. And and for a lot of people, 13 is a bad luck number. He's changing the trajectory. Hold on, mm. hold on. No, 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 no. You gotta you gotta get. You know, in the scriptures, in the in the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, it's actually the most beautifulest number. Oh, mm. okay. We're going to get to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in case y'all don't know who the fuck we talking Danny about. Danny home team. Danny home Danny team. Danny home team. Oh, you better believe we that. We talking about one and only. Motherfucker DJ Khaled. Hey! Now, Khaled, you got the single cheers, out cheers, right now. Cheers, yes, cheers. Let, me, let me pop off, too. Yeah, yeah, we can't. We got to we we gotta gotta get straight to the single. Yeah, yeah, we got um, to. Um, Staying alive. Staying alive. Um... Uh -huh. Man, it's such a blessing. First of all, the album's called God Did. Right, because they, they don't didn't believe, believe in us. Yeah. God Did. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And this album is made that everybody that believed. Mm. And there's a lot more people that believe. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, when it comes down to this album, this particular album right. is those that believed on another level. Mm. Um, and Staying Alive is such an important record, not just for me, Right. First of all, I want to big up Drake. Right. Because Drake did. Drake did. Um, Little Baby did. Yes, yes. And uh, Drake is my brother, and no, Little Baby's my brother. And um, the blessing to work with Drake and, and Little Baby. Two of the hottest people on the planet right now. Yeah, for sure. But we're, we're, we're true friends. You know what I'm saying? Right. That and matters, and me that and Drake right. known each other for so long, and me right. and Little Baby, our relationship's getting bigger and bigger and greater every right. time right. and we and all of us we win together right. that's the beautiful thing yeah. when you win together right. you know what I'm saying um, with Drake besides music he's my brother brother mm -hmm. um, and I like what Drake, what Drake like, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know winners work with winners right greatness greatness always attract other greatness yes um and I just want to—I want to take my time, you know, just to thank him mm -hmm. on this incredible platform. Right. Drake, I appreciate you. Little right. baby, I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's on the album, I appreciate you. But we're talking about the single, right. and this single, "Staying Alive," it's—it's it's only been out, you know. I don't know when it's coming out, but it's only been out for three days, three and right. a half days. Right. And this is the type of record that resonates with everyone. Mm. Mm. You know. You know, it's been crazy times. We, mm -hmm. you know, we out here trying to stay alive. Let's keep right. it real. Like we out yeah. here dodging all type of shit. It's very like, true. Very you true. You know, there's right. Corona. There's right. a new theory, right. and the next day, this theory right. is always a theory. Right. It's always a theory. But this record is special because this album's called God Did. God Did. That's right. And the single's called Staying Alive. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't want us to live. Mm -hmm. God Did. God Did. <laughs> they don't want us to live, so we stay alive. Right. Uh, and anybody act up, I let another fucking Drake go. Mm -hmm. And I let a Jay-Z go. Mm -hmm. And I let a clip of Future go. Woo. And I never let another clip of Baby go. Woo. Anybody act up, I put another anthem upon the fucking head top so fast. I've been doing this shit for 17, 18 years consistently. 
I am summer. Right. Mm. Okay, I make songs of the year. Right. You know, right. you know, they, they always say Cal come with this summer. No, I'm a, I'm the year. Right. All right. No, no, no. I ain't. My bad. I didn't want to start off no, like no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I came and chill. No, 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 no. When you invited me, I was yeah. like, that's yeah. my brother. Right. You know, I don't do too many interviews. Because right. mm. I got my own interview. Mm. I say what I want to say anytime right. I want. Because right. I'm going to make sure it's at a high level. Right. It's going to motivate. It's going to inspire. And it's going to motivate that person that felt like they couldn't make it in life. I want to show them that we can do this shit. Right. Right. You know, I'm one of them people. Right. You know what I mean? When they see Coward every day, they be like, that man, you can hate me. You can love me but you gonna fucking respect me. Right. Right. Ain't nobody work harder than me, cause they not me, right. period. And don't get it twisted. Right. I'm sorry, I'm about to go no, into no, no, a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. No, no. The love is so phenomenal, right. that's what keeps me going. Right. Right. Like, to have 13 albums, nor right. EFN 13, that's, that's not regular. No, that's not regular. You know, we win so much, people think this shit is normal. Mm -hmm. right. They think this shit, oh, Cal put another hit. They know, it's a hit, they know it. They think this shit is normal. Right. It's not. That's why you can't do a versus. You will smoke everybody in versus. I'm saying. We got love every. I mean, that's facts. <laughs> but no, no, no. No, I, anybody's ever asked me that, I always said that. Yeah, I'm not never backing down on that right, talk. Right, right, but right. I'm saying, but I'm not doing a verse. I got love for verses. Right. I sound clash my whole life. I've right, been battling my whole that. life. Right. Trust me. Right. You know, I'm at a point right now, you know, I'm blessed. Right. You bless, you bless, mm -hmm. we all bless. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to battle and verses and all that, I'm more of a fan of it because I used to sound clash my whole life. Right. And me, I'ma be real with you, I don't know how to do it halfway. Right. Like, it might get, you know so, what I'm saying? So what they say right now. No, 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 I'm saying like, if you, right. you gotta respect my catalog. Yeah, 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 respect the catalog. Like, you know what I'm saying? I respect the question, I respect how you came at it. Right. You know, I get it, yeah. and I respect it because I come from that. Right. Like, EFN will tell you, right. I'm a sound boy. I'm a sound yeah, yeah. killer. Right. No, I kill sound. You've seen it in Jamaica too. Yeah. No, I, like I don't think you understand. Like it's, that's what, how I came in the game. It's killing sound. Like my, nobody's ever gave this shit to me. Like, oh, Cal, here's a door open. Yo, we we want you to win. Right. That's real. Stop. Hard work. No, it's hard work. Hard work. So we all got this. Uh, this, what was it, a tweet or was it an Instagram? No, I believe it was an Instagram from Lenny S saying that he just witnessed the greatest verse of all time. Anybody act up, I let the hoe go upon the head. <laughs> <laughs> hoe did. <Yeah. laughs> How did you get hoe to go to I the mean, road? first of all, you know, hoe, that's like, I'm a fan, such a right. fan of hoe, uh, not just in the music. Obviously, right. the music is. Come on, he broke down the doors for us to do the shit we doing. Right. But I'm just a, 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 a next level fan where, man, this man came from Marcy Projects right. to where he's at right now as a mm. father, as an entrepreneur, as a mogul, mm. somebody that you can call for anything and he'll right. hear you out, right. somebody you can actually talk to, right. and he's the biggest. Right. Right. All I gotta say is about Hove on my album, Hove did. Right. So and, and, and I'm not talking about just Hove did, they ain't believe in us. Hove did, he believed in me. No. Sometimes you got to remind people where Hove did. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's too many bars for me to tell you. Right. It's too many bars right. for me to right. tell you. Anybody act up. I let the whole go upon your head. <laughs> and, and I take no chalk back. Right. And I came to your crib uh, recently, and you told me it's not just Jay on the record, it's oh. other people on this record. Yes, it is. Okay. And I want to keep it like... Wait, you're talking about the record with, with, with Hull on yeah. it. Yeah, so, you know, this this album called God Did. Right. So when I say this God Did, this is not just Cabot. Right. This right. God did. Right. Right. Look. Like I, can, I, mean, I don't understand. I, I need you to really. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen like, you put I, it on the sign. Yeah, God did. You no, no, no. Right and I know yeah. he, we were talking about the single staying alive, how it resonates with everybody. Right. God did is touching people in a different way. Yeah. Everywhere. How'd you come up with that slogan? I was sitting one day in my crib. I was on the phone. And somebody was telling me something. 
while they was telling me, I just kept looking at it. You know how you ever look at the phone, like you try to, like, what, what's this person saying? <laughs> like, so you have to look at it. Then I was like, let me call you back. And I hung up and I put it down and I had my head down for a minute. I was like, real disappointed. <laughs> I was like, damn, they don't believe in us. And then immediately I was like, God did. Like, that's what God, that's what God said, Cal, keep your head up, keep going, don't stop, keep coming upon their head. Right, right. You know, and that's the, the power of God. Right. You know what I'm I don't want to get too deep, but right. God is, I love him. Right. Right. He's the greatest that ever did it. So that's how the name came and I just started saying it and I didn't realize, you know, the whole world was feeling what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in us. Mm -hmm. God, you got to remind yourself, you have to lift yourself up. You can't wait for the next man to lift you up. And if right. they do, man, hug them tight. Right. They special. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's how the name, that, that's how the name came. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's special, so I, I had to name the album God Did. One thing about all your albums um, and everything you pretty much involved with, you always go back to the dance hall. You always like give the dance hall people That's the roots. Their, 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 but you know, the bigger you got, you could have actually forgot about dance Never. hall. I'm just saying, um, why, why do you keep, keep it so it root, root, and you always go to Jamaica. It's like you go out there to be actually record the record right. with, with these people. That's like real yeah, dedication. Yeah, this album too on God Did, I have something that is so monumental right. that um, it, it, the, the, the wreck is incredible and the video's done just who I got on it all together it's kind of like impossible right like real talk right like it's really impossible mm -hmm. and when you hear it mm -hmm. and you come from that they'll, right. they'll be like I ain't never seen that right you know what I'm saying and um, the wreck is crazy too and I'm very proud of it because you're right I always go and I never forget about my roots because I told you earlier I'm a sound killer right right right, right. Right. I kill sound. Right. That's why I don't. I, you know, in life you have to progress and prosper in life. You know that. At one point you have to say to yourself, you have to grow and progress, evolve. You don't want me to right. keep killing sound all day in that level of, of killing sound. Right. You're gonna start looking at me different. Right. So now I just put it upon your head. Right. And this album, God did. It's usually like my albums usually be like the knockout. I decided to knock out and hold the back of the head like this. <laughs> and walk out. Like, look, look, that's how I'm coming. Not <laughs> so, I ain't got time to be <laughs> sound clashing nobody. I got nothing to prove to nobody. Right. I got nothing to prove to nobody. Right. Ain't nobody in this room or any fucking room right. can right. question right. what DJ Khaled, what his cloth is. Right. I'm special. You right. protect me. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just being real. No, no, like, if you think about it, you never yeah. hear me talk bad about somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't tear people down. Mm -hmm. That's not my thing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, as I have people that love me so much. Mm -hmm. Nori will tell you. Yes. I don't want to be uh, arguing with somebody. I got too much love. Right, right. Absolutely. And them people different. Right. So I always make sure I got to be the guy of the team to be like, yo, we got love. Right. We got to right. continue to prosper and progress. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's so important, like, the youth that's this and now, we have to, at one point in life, you got you to gotta grow and take your shit to the next level. Mm -hmm. Little things, the way you move, the way you eat, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the way you speak, mm -hmm. the way you present yourself, mm -hmm. it's, it's called being a grown man. Mm -hmm. You can't be a king and queen and not represent. You know what I'm saying? So when I say that, I'm just saying this at the end of the day is, I got nothing to prove, I have love for everybody. If somebody today this DJ Khaled, I love you. <laughs> I am so blessed. Right, right. No, I'm, no, right. I'm blessed. Right, right. God is great. God did. God did. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> now one of my favorite records that, um, I believe it came out last year, I just listened to it for the whole year, well, sorry. I'm not sorry. With, uh, mm. with Nas and, and Jay Z, yeah. Like, how, how how was that putting that together? Because we know their history and we know that they're cool now, but still, to get these two mogul figures, icons, two I icons mean, together. I mean, that, that was more of me of a fan of loving this shit so much. Mm -hmm. That record was me being a fan right. of loving Hove and Nas and just loving knowing that me as a brother can show the world that we're all brothers. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. Those are brothers. Right. Like, you know right. that. Right. Those are brothers. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the end of the day is, you know, as we grow, you might not get to see these guys share their love and their, their respect for each other and just, and, and not just that, those are hip hop icons, yeah. kings, legends. Yes. So me as a fan, yes. I felt like, man, I want to make that happen. It was a dream for me. Wow. Right. But also, I knew the fans, because I'm a fan too, right. that this they're going to love that, man. Right. Khaled got Nas and Hov together. Right. Even though we know they're cool, but some right. people might act like they forget that they're cool right. because this right. world got so it. much right. distortion right. and negativity. Right. That record and, and the bars on that record was all about motivating, inspire, right. inspire people. You listen to both of them; yeah. they were talking, talking that, that inspiration and motivation talk. You know what I'm right. saying? And that's what made me love it even more. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, right, yeah. Because uh, um, I believe me and my wife was filming Marriage Boot Camp when when it came out, and we we just couldn't stop. We couldn't stop listening to the record. I, have, I was coming busting out Ace of Spade every day, and uh, I, I was I was just in tune. And it was just it was a beautiful moment for me because it was like you know with their history, and then and, and then you had them both in the video. Was how how, how hard was that? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it either. That's how much of yeah. a fan you are. Nah, yeah. I'm just being honest with you. Right, like right, right, you know, right. when I was putting my black suit on, I'm like. Right. I was bugging out. I'm like, yo, we about to really shoot this shit. Mm -hmm. And it was Hove and Nas. And I was like, man, we really shooting a visual. Mm -hmm. It just made me say, you know, obviously thank you, God, but also thank you for my relationship and these kings trusting me. Right. You know, that's what it's about, Nori. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you when you great and you went in and, and, and you have good, good energy and you know, it's about also trust. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when you get a chance to work with great people like that. You have to love you, love each other and trust each other. Meaning as in trust my vision. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to do that. Right. They ain't got to do none all. of that. Right. But they knew it was coming from a, a great place, right. a great soul, and and something to give to the people. Right. Because right. I'm for the people. You know what I'm right. saying? So I felt like me pulling that off, that was like, that goes in, for me personally, right. it's legendary for me. Right. You know what I mean? I, can, I get my kids get to see me in the video with Nas and Jay Z. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Let's make some noise. Man. That's incredible. That's cool. yeah. Thank you. Man, man, that's that's a. Yo, so Nori, you're good though. Let's, let's talk. Now you got nice no, with this no, shit. No, 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 this shit's like. <laughs> you're coming, you're not, Nori's the only nice guy to talk nice and throw something special in there. Go ahead. Nah, nah. Let's look at what you're I'm with you regardless. With Fat Joe, like for Joey a minute. Crack's my brother. That's yeah. one of my best friends. Yes. Um, I'm the godfather of his daughter. Joey Crack is like. That's my brother. We love Joey Crack. Yeah, that's like. Here. That's like. We just. Might not have the same mother, but right. we're twins. Right. That's my brother. Like, right. talk to him almost every day. Right. You know what I mean? But I, he's at my house, or you know, now he's back in New York, but he's back and forth. So it's like, my love for Joey Crack is is forever. Mm -hmm. Fire. There's nothing he could ever do for me not to love him. I love him. If he's right, he's more right. It don't matter. <laughs> right. Right. What I'm trying right. to tell you is, I stand right. with him. I'm loyal to him. Yeah. That's my brother. I ride with him. Right. I love him. I do anything for right. him. Right. And guess what? Right. He'll do anything for me. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. He got my back. Yes, that's fine. Because he knows that's my. We love each. That's family, uh -huh. Nori. Yes, beautiful. That's like Joey Crack is like. Right. First of all, it's a hip hop legend. Right, right. For somebody to continue to win non-stop consistently yes. in different levels not just in music mm -hmm. we talking about in all right now he doing what's, what's it, what we call it? do we call this media what do we call this yeah, what's, yeah, what's, yeah. This, what's his category media uh, yeah journalism. He, he's yeah. doing his media Content journalism creation, stuff. Yeah. he's doing movies he's doing yeah. music he got his his uh, nah, he's a killing book. He got, he's a book. Killing. got a book documentary anything i'm doing that's his right. anything he doing that's mine. Right. We family. This ain't no joke team. Right. Not overnight. Like, no, I know y'all know, but yeah, this, right. I guess we talking in the world, right? Yes. <laughs> but, but, take, I got but, but take it so, back. But take no, it back. I'll right. take it back. That's right. why everybody knows. This no joke team. Right. Like, right. this the real team. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, um, going back, I've been down with Fat Joe since his very first album. What's the first I met him at New Music Seminar in New York City. Wow. I had his vinyl. Mm. An album before it came out. Right. Now this is Joey Crack with the face like this, right. like this with the fatigues on. This ain't right. the Joey Crack you know right. now. Flo Jo. Yeah, Flo Jo. Right. So he seen me with the vinyl in front of the hotel in New Music Center. He asked me how I got that. Mm. You know, it ain't out yet. Right. You know, at that time, you know, 
The what you said? I had the vinyl. It's not oh, out the yet. Vinyl. Yeah, the test press. It was the test press. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I was like, yo, I was trying to explain to him, like, yo, you know, I got. I said like a, uh, a <laughs> promo, like you know, I get shit early. He looking at me with the face sideways, like <laughs> you know, like the fat Joe. All right. <laughs> So I'm like, yo, this man about to kill me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And we just end up kicking it. And we built our relationship. Then he used to come to Florida. Yeah. And then we really built our relationship. And he used to let me DJ on tour with him, like wow. his shows, or um, you know, make beats for his album. Right. You'll come in my garage, I'll make beats. You know what I'm saying? He recorded Lean Back in my studio, right. wow. in my garage, you know what I'm wow. saying? Like, too many stories. Right. That take like a 10 uh, right. Uh, right. drink champs. Right. It's too many. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but um, to make it a, a long story short, from the mud to marble floors. Absolutely. Right. And what's so beautiful about it is nobody can break that relationship. Right. Nobody. Right. And that's right. what I love about it because it lets you know, like, we love Joey Crack. Yeah. 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 So, so wherever you at, Fat Joe, you already know. I'm speaking My to him today. Brother. I'm speaking to him today, too. Uh, but, all right, we had Irv Gotti on here recently, right? And a lot of people critique Irv Gotti for saying that he's a producer, but he doesn't really, like, actually produce. No, he record. produces. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him produce. He produces, like, um, we all know how to do this. Right. But also, producing have is about... Have the ear. It's not, it's about have the ear, ear, but not as that. Have the vision and right. pushing everybody to bring the vision out. Right. See, what's so beautiful about making music is ideas. Right. And when you have ideas and a vision, sometimes you can have people who are so talented, they play so much instruments and this and that, it's too much. Right. Sometimes you gotta simplify it. It takes a producer, there's beat makers and there's producers. Right. Me personally, I come from beat making turned into a producer, right. mm. okay? I come from DJing and beat making and turning into a producer, right. you know what I'm saying? And a producer gonna make sure, gonna take the vision from the beginning and bring it to life. Right. In so many ways. Right. Vocal production, right. comp and vocals, different right. instruments, arranging the track, right. who we put on the record, is the AC right in the room, right. you know, is the bike, everything right. is too much shit, that, you know. Right. But me personally, I've been blessed to come up with some great ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been blessed to collaborate with other great producers. Mm. I'm blessed to collaborate with other great artists. Mm. But one thing I will say about me, mm -hmm. I said it earlier, we win so much, you would think this shit is normal. Right. I tell people every day, and I think I told you before, yeah. let me see you do it. Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody can do what Nori do, mm -hmm. because you special. That's right. Now people can be flattered, and try to clone you, mm -hmm. and try to duplicate you, yeah, it's but they it. know who's the, I'm mm -hmm. special yeah. on another level. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. When it comes down to making music, yeah. one of the greatest that ever did it, yes. I take no talk back. If you think I'm gonna wait for somebody to bring me a flower or a cake with candles, right. Oh, but we've given you your flowers. I'll be waiting wait, for a long... No, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 you got love. Wait, 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 The reason why I say that is because I want to let the young world know, too. Right. Don't wait for nobody to give you your props and respect. Go out there. Every and true hustler, every real winner. Right. Man, if you watch their work ethic, they ain't even got time to hear what you're talking about. Mm. Wow. I work so much. If I told you how my day started today to I got here, right. like I literally, when you text me, say right. you, I, you know, when you say I'm running a little late, I was like, thank God, because I still ain't done. I still ain't done doing what I'm doing over here. Right, 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 right. This is real. I'm a hustler. That's real. Like, when you, real. like again, like mm -hmm. if you don't know that by now, mm -hmm. please stay away from me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, yes, yes. I protect my energy. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. yes. Nah, this is beautiful. Let's, let's, give, it, let's give it to this. Where the flowers at, man? Let's, let's oh, shit, I get flowers. flowers. Oh, shit, y'all got flowers. Oh, this is shit. Oh, nah. Oh, <laughs> Where that, Mr. Lee? Come on, oh, Mr. Lee. Oh, behind the steroids guy. All right. You know, Kyle, we don't know what our show is about giving people their flowers while they're alive man, to your I face, tell you how great you are. You know what I'm saying? And you are special. Thank you are great. Mm -hmm. We want you to get your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Literally flowers, literally flowers. Nah, Listen, nah. Curtis, you're yeah. oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nah. Man, your head Pun your head top. Yeah, this is pun your head your head top. Your head top. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> nah, we're gonna love this. Yeah. No, this is beautiful, man. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. It means a lot to me. But I, I just want everybody to know out there in the, in the, in the world, like, 
if I listen to the ones that don't want to show love and give us flowers, I would have been cut my wrist. Mm -hmm. I never ever took my time to listen to any, uh, how can I say, distortion. Have I heard it before? Of course. Right. But if I actually listened to it and, and took my time, I would have cut my wrist. So you saying you don't wake up in the morning and look at comments and get... Like, no, no, no. Okay. Comments don't bother me. You can say whatever you want. Okay. That's, that's not even real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I live in a real life. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't... That's why you never heard me on the... Because one time I did read your comments when you and your wife was working out. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah, said... Yeah. I don't need that shit. I was dying, man. Yeah, I can't yeah, lie. Yeah, no, no, no. Was, yeah, that's a legend. Like, that's you, a legendary clip. You, you can do it. I posted this shit up. I'm like, why I post that shit up? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and my, that's my, my me and my wife, we, we, yeah, we best friends. friends. And it's friend. like, just to show you, <laughs> like, was, I even post that, that up. That was beautiful. A, they make me admit, I didn't, none of that bothers me. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say, and the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, this is a new world, Nori. And this new world moves so fast. Like, I literally was working all day on a shoot, right? Right. So I had my phone down for like four hours. In that four hours, I went on my phone, so much shit happened. Like, all type of shit. I'm like, wow, what the fuck's going on? Uh, yeah. I was drained of so much shit happening. What I'm saying is, at the end of the day is, you gotta protect your energy. That's right. And, and if you look at every big winner, and every hustle, and you know the story, Karis once said it before. He said, if you look at the uh, person that you look up to and know what the shit they went through to get where they at, yeah. right. KRS said that. Right. That shit touched me because it's real. Like, if you think about the trials and tribulations and, the, and how people tearing somebody down, trying to stop them, but the ones that overcome that and became the biggest, right. now all of a sudden it's all love. Mm -hmm. right. Well, guess what? The only way to make it to that level is you gotta be focused and don't give right. a fuck and right. keep winning. Right. Cause there's always more love than than distortion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm grateful for all the love, man. I got the best fans in the world. Right. My fans, they I, I, we have a connection that's just truly unbelievable. Um, my support system is truly unbelievable. Cause it seemed like, I'm sorry for cutting you off, but it seems like it kind of started from Snapchat. Like with this whole new different the social media world, side, social of it. media. Right. Yeah, I mean, Kyle's already been a legend. Kyle's been, already, he been doing but it, it before. Like, that. It was like everyone, to tell you the truth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak honestly. Everyone was kind of taking Snapchat as a joke at right. first, right? And then it was like you just kept doing, and it was like you know fan love and all that, and then it kind of turned you, turned turned you into a social media giant outside of just making hit, hit records as well. Um, do you think that that, that was something that and helped? And that out? you helped change social media you, as well. Yeah, yeah, you did. All I'm doing every day is being me. Right. right. If it's Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. if it's Drink Champs, right. it's me at dinner, me at my crib, all I know how to do is be me. Right. Yeah. And what happened with social media is the same way when you post a promo to your show, right. it brings awareness of the show's greatness. Right. If it's good. Right. right. So every time you post your promo, it's always exciting. Y'all know yeah. what y'all doing. Yeah. And we can't wait to see it. Right. Right. Well, that's the same thing with, with Khaled. I'm only gonna give you greatness. Right. And that's just me being me. You right. know what I'm saying? So what happened was, before the social media, Khaled been doing his thing. Right. Always, I've been yeah. in this game for a long time. I'm blessed. And you've been the right. same person the whole right. time. Right. I mean, he knows me. Right. What'd you just say? You've been yeah. the same person the whole time. <laughs> the Is the whole mic time. on? Like, <laughs> Let me guess. The mic cut off, right? There's distortion, right? <laughs> no, we can attest to it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, no, no, I know it. that. Right. And we, like yeah. I said, it's always, right. I'm so grateful for my, my right. support and love. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day is when social media, you're supposed to use this right. to bring awareness to your greatness, right. to put a smile on somebody's face. Right. It could be a picture. You might put a smile on somebody's face. It's true. Don't use this to tear somebody down. Mm -hmm. Me, I got to get up every day, take care of my family. I got to take care of my vision. I got to take care of my health. I got to take care of my future. I got to make sure my kids is forever. So if I'm going to take one second of the day to tear somebody down, that'd be crazy. You see what I'm saying? When I could have used that one second and embraced some, some love, don't get it twisted, we all human. Right. 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 
I don't want to sound like I'm the perfect fucking nobody. Is, you know nobody what I'm saying? Right. Like I, you know, you know, I've grown. Right. Right. I've learned. I right. progress. I have more experience. Right. I'm always speaking from experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, you know, I was blessed to 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 grow. Right. right. You know what I mean? I ain't. You, at one point, you gotta take your shit to the next level. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fuck it. I'm talking too much, right? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. What are you talking about? Nah, 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 nah. You gotta relax, homie. Uh, um, what, what kind of, uh, what, what kind of pad paddock is that? Oh, yeah. This is a special one. This, um, I ain't trying to stop. You brought please, this please up. Please stop. You know, please you brought stop. this no, no, up. No, please, please. This is a million on the wrist for sure. For sure. Okay. Um, but this is like uh, Rose Gold's Protect uh, Factory Diamonds. Okay. Um, I love watches. I love sneakers. I love watches. Uh -huh. I collect them. You 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 wore that the night you got your um star. Yeah yeah. Well, I, I actually got it that day. That day. Yeah yeah. yeah I got yeah, it yeah. that day, so yeah. it was special. Yeah. Um, Let's make uh, you let me be clear. Congratulations. I got, I got, I got it. I got it at a retail price, and I, I, I meaning as in, but the but this is an investment. Yeah. Right. I don't want to go into that because I feel like I'm starting. No, 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 no reason to that. No, I'm just saying. But at the end of the day, is um, it was a blessing to reward myself. Uh huh. And it was, and it's worth something. Yeah. What I'm trying to say, right. like right. I rewarded myself. Paid two hundred with a two hundred. I forgot what I paid, uh, and it's worth it. There's a return on that investment. I just, you know, right. what I'm saying, of course, I'm gonna have my. I gotta talk my shit. You know, it's Khaled on Drink Champs, and it's a Millie. Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, like, no, 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 listen. And I could have brought, brought the, I could have brought, brought the three Millie one, but I, just, I wanted to be, you know, the pink with the glasses. I kept it. You know, what I'm saying like a vibe. You know what I'm saying? No, but no, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to be on here like yo. You know what I'm saying? Like God did the biggest album in the game. Yeah. Remember, I told you, I promise you. Anybody act up, I let another drink go. <laughs> anybody act up, I let a hole go behind your head on another. No anybody act up, I let the 21s go. The baby, no, no more, future, more. Trust me. Like this album, God did is one of those albums. The album's called God Did, but I want to remind you, this God did. Right. So I need you to understand, or understand what I'm saying. Like, it's out, of, it's out of my hands. Mm -hmm. Like the way, what's happening on this album is, and I'm excited too because I got to work with a lot of new people. Right. Right. Like, like, like the new young, you know, God willing icons. The, 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 the Rob Waves. I seen you. In the I mean, it's, I, I work with Rob. I mean, I didn't get a chance to work with him. We was in the studio hanging out. Uh -huh. I want to work with him. I want right. him on my album. He's from Miami, right? He, no, he's from. Um, St. Peter, Tampa. I think St. Okay, Peter. Florida. I'm sure he's in that area, but he's a Florida boy. And um, matter of fact, you got an album come out, make sure you get that. I'm a big fan of his. Right. I want to work with him. Big him up. But yes. let's talk about the, the, the star. The, 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 um, yeah, the that was stars. incredible, man. Congratulations yeah, was, um, on that. I, I was there too that day. I was there to celebrate you. I felt, I felt so honored to, to, to I be there. I appreciate that, man, a to lot. To be there. Yeah, yeah. But how, 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 how did you feel? Like, um, It felt incredible because my, my queen was there and my right. kids was there. Right. You know, I, I, I didn't expect to get that. Like, it wasn't something like I was like, you know, for them to honor me, you know saying, on the music side of things mm -hmm. was a super blessing because that's something my kids can see every time, anytime. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? That's something my fans can see. Right. You know what I mean? So I look at that star, I want that star to represent, you know, the, the light from the star to shine on other people right. because we all stars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, that star meant a lot to me because it was a blessing from God. And I was saying to myself at that time when I got it, I was working on God did. Mm. And I'm like, yo, we about to set up the new chapter. Right. right. The new chapter of more wins, more blessings, more success. Right. And like I said, this is the 13th album. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got some big, besides music, some, some, some big entrepreneurship that I've been working on mm -hmm. that's gonna come to light this year. You know what I'm saying? I got my own sneaker release coming out with Jordan Great. this year. Come on, we you know gotta make some noise back. Oh, I appreciate it. Come on, come um, on. That's you know, big. so so all that stuff happening back to back. Right. So it's like, what a way to start off the new chapter. Right. By you know what I'm saying? By getting that star. Yeah, it's like yeah. my kids get to see that. Right. And they was there to see it. That's why. Yeah, it's legacy. Yes, yeah, legacy. legacy. Yeah. I mean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And Hove and Puff and Joe yeah. beside me. Yes, that was Taking fire. a picture by the star with my kids yes. and my queen. That was right. Come on, bro. 
Like you, when you look at that picture, let me guess, you ain't see it, right? Yeah. Ain't, you ain't see it? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying, like, like, what is it? Daddy Joe and Hove yeah, 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 and Kevin right. and his kids get a star. Yeah. Hove, yeah. Pop, yeah. Hove and Pop and yeah. Joe yeah. beside Calvin while he was getting a star yeah. with my kids Fire. there and my queen. Fire. Come on, bro. Blood, bro. I, 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 I cried that night. Right. And matter of fact, little baby called me that night too. He's like, yo, we well, were talking about staying Jeezy alive. Jeezy was there too. Jeezy was there. Tiana yeah, Taylor a lot of people came. People, yeah. but I'm you, I remember that, that day because I went back to the hotel. Little baby called me, congratulated me on the star and I really appreciated that and at the same time we was talking about staying alive right. we were talking about you know we're getting this record done right. man shout out to Drake and Little Baby again right. cause cause right. this record is is it's, what, it's one of those what's your biggest record to date you think it is is it the Justin Bieber joint I mean it's that's about to go diamond um, yeah. that's Damn. definitely one of my biggest but it's too many uh, Nori let me just help you let me help you out <laughs> no 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 see it's gonna take like that's what I'm saying that's why I can't do that <laughs> shit <laughs> cause, cause I'm always speaking fast Let's go. You know, you got records like All I Do Is Win. You know yes, that record, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. All I Do Is Win, right. Wild Thoughts. Uh-huh. I'm, on, I'm on one. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me stop you for a second. We can go right back to that. Because you said All I Do Is Win and I'm So Hood. I be, you and T-Pain made so much great mm-hmm. collaborations. I love T-Pain. Where, where, why y'all ain't working yeah, together no more? I'm down. Okay. I'm down to work That's with him. That's gotta happen again. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm definitely down to work with him. Um, I love T-Pain. Mm-hmm. Um, what we've made together is nobody can ever duplicate that ever in life. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I can't, let me just think of some records off my head. I'm So Hood, Go Hard, um, All I Do Is Win. Mm-hmm. He wrote, um, Out Here Grinding. Oh, um, shit. You know what I'm saying? And we taking over too, right? Uh, no, no, we taking no. over, that's not Akon. Yeah. Well, I think, I think he wrote the hook though. Oh, I don't know if he wrote that one. I yeah. wasn't in, um, on, in that's, you know, that's their business. Right, you know what right, saying? right, But as right. far as out here grinding, I yeah. know he wrote that for Akon okay. to sing okay. on my um, album. But, you know, records like All I Do Is, it's so many, yeah, that, it's so that, many. Yeah, yeah. But um, he's so talented, he, you know, his melody game. Mm-hmm. Um, he's from Florida. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's special. And what we've done together is unbelievable. Yes. So I'm forever got love for T-Pain. That's fine. Forever. That's <laughs> But, but, uh, but what were we talking about before that? You talking about, let me help you with records. Yes, yes. All I do is win. I'm so good. <laughs> yeah. We taking over. Right. Um, I'm on one right. for free. Right. Pop star, right. Grease, right. staying alive, wild thoughts. Um, I mean, fucking 13 albums. Each album had at least three or four hits on there. Woo. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, it's too many to name. Like, Woo. I'm going to be real with you. I could put out a fucking greatest hits right now. Mm. Woo. Easily. Ooh. Matter of fact, it would have to be a triple CD. It would have to be a triple CD with all my hits. Yo, Nori, I got hits. Like, like Nori, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, it's, it's, I, it's, it's too many. Can't, 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 can't. And this might be reaching a little bit. I don't know on which side. How about Dr. Dre? They oh, said, no, no, Dr. Dre's a legend. Come on. No, I'm a student. Oh, okay, okay. Like, Wait, what were you trying to say? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 don't go. What were you trying to say? No, 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 no. no. Donna do Dre, okay. Donna Dre is a legend. Have you ever worked with Dre? No, I've always talked about it and I want to work with Dre. Wow. Um, my inspiration is Dr. Dre, mm. uh, Jay-Z, Puff Daddy, Quincy Jones, mm. and Barry Gordy. Mm. Um, when you want to get into the depth of right. who I study as right. a student. Right. Those people, I, I, I get on my knees and, and do this. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that for nobody. Those are, that's, that's, come on, those are the gods. Right, right yeah. Right. Those are the gods. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Those are the ones, reason why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Right. Those are the gods. So what would a DJ Khaled and Dr. Dre record sound like? Man, it's crazy, cause I have, um, you know, on this album, this is God, it's crazy that you brought that up because, fuck it, I'm just gonna say it. Um, I text him mm. and I say, yo, Dre, is this your number? No, because I, yeah, I've yeah, talked to yeah. him in a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he, he, I don't think he hit back to like two weeks and when he hit back, I caught the COVID. Oh. So I didn't notice it for like three weeks because I was fucked up and I was like, you know, like unread messages and when right. you got the COVID, you ain't trying to, mm-hmm. you ain't trying to check your phone. You just trying to make sure you're good. Right. You know, boom, boom. And I was like, he hit back. <laughs> But I didn't want to hit him when I had the COVID because I didn't have the Khaled energy. Okay. Because <laughs> I said, if I get a chance to work with him, you can't, you I got to make sure text, I can 
FaceTime him, go to my studio, I'm like, check this out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. He wasn't so, yourself. Right. It's crazy because I have something. Mm. But it might be for the next time, it might be for this time. I don't know. I didn't reach, I didn't, I didn't talk to him. I reached out, right. he hit back, I caught the COVID, right. and then I'm, I'm trying to mentally right. build my energy up to say, let me reach it. Cause like he's like, he's like the, you know, he's the he's the god. Of course. Right. So it's like, I, I want to make sure I'm sending him the right one. Mm-hmm. And this was for this album? Yeah, yeah, I'm still working. I'm like, I'm the album coming on August 26th, but you know the rules. Yeah. Last Minute Magic is the yeah. best. Right. Yes. And Hove did. Mm. <laughs> what I'm saying is, so, I'm just telling you a story because that's Dre's like the god. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I was planning to play him something. So I have this idea, right. you know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, maybe should I wait? You know what I'm saying? I'm patient. Right. Me, I'm patient. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I always say to myself, I'm always just getting started. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wouldn't make 13 albums if I didn't have that energy to say I'm just getting started. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I'm, that's the king. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Smitty that's part of his team. Yeah, out there. from Miami, Smitty, right? Yeah, from out here, yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm trying to picture how it would sound. I, I, I'm into it. I could, I could Straight hear out of Compton. Yeah. It's DRA. Uh, Another oh. one. Hit a, hit a, hit a, hit a. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, boy, it's going to be crazy now. <laughs> you know, uh, we ain't going to play. You know that. How, how, how long does the process to make an album like this? For me, um, I love to start recording music in November. My birthday is November 20. That's how you like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start. Even when I put an album out, I'll be like, I ain't doing another one. It took, you, know, you know, we all say you, that. You like, do a fourth quarter type of dude. You like to drop in the no, fourth I like quarter? To, no, no, no. I don't like to drop four. I like to drop summer. Summer, okay. that's these But what I'm saying, I like to start working. Okay. Yeah. Every time it starts getting a little cold, right. in Miami don't really get cold. I right. got a little breeze great, That's our great weather time. Right, right. right. That great weather makes me want right. to go in the studio. I don't know what it is. Mm. I start getting the itch. Mm-hmm. And the ideas start coming, and and I always only focus on the the beats, the production, mm-hmm. the music, the, the sonics, right. and the ideas. I don't think about recording with not one artist. Right. I only focus on the production. Mm-hmm. Who I'm gonna collaborate? Who do um? What what ideas am I gonna bring to light? What what what, what am I? I put all that together. Right. And then I start cutting. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Because. And that's how my album titles come out too, because it's got to have a certain sound. So when I work with the artists when they're in the studio, I don't just record artists They say I got a feature, I got to make a great song with them. That's yeah. what I do, I make great songs. Right. So right. I'm going to bring the best out of every artist I ever work with. So I, when I work, this album, I, I, I documented a lot of the process. Mm-hmm. I documented a lot of it. I said, you know what, I'm going to give the fans something special. Right. Not just the album, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna load them up right. with shit that never seen. Cause you're the best promoter on the planet. Let's just yeah. be clear. I mean, you no know, one can promote uh, I appreciate a that. record like you. Like I, I kid you. It's not, not just a record. Anything yeah. I Anything do. Anything you do. Yeah. It's Anything because you do, I, I agree. And I put you in this category too, Nori. Uh-huh. And I mean this with respect. Uh-huh. And you too, EFN. Uh-huh. Like guys like us, they don't just give it to us. Right. We gotta work extra hard. Yes. 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 You know what I'm saying? So I work all shifts. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 I work all shifts. Yeah. I wake up. I wake up out of my sleep, right. and I might just post something to let you know I'm coming upon your head. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. To let you know I'm up. Right. I I don't hug no pillow, putting slob all over it, mm. with the pillow with the zippers <laughs> inflicting wounds all over the face. I don't do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I get to it. I work. I work hard, bro. Right. I work hard. Yo, so we gotta. This is, this is oh, a quick shit. part of the game we play. Oh, it's called Quick Time with Slime. Oh shit! I meant to tell you I don't want to play this game. Go ahead. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot about this show. This certain shit I, I ain't with, but go ahead. Yeah, so it's, if you pick both, you got to take a sip. You got to take a, 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 a shot. So if you pick both. Or you neither, pick both, or neither. Or neither. I'll say if you don't. If you you got to pick one, and then yeah. there's no If you shot. don't pick nothing, you have to drink? Right. Yeah. But Bring then, out the whole bottle. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna do we're gonna do shots. You wanna do Ciroc? What you wanna do? I, mean, I, got, I got Japanese Delion over here. This is Jap. This is what Hope said on your record. Let's Sipping do, let's Japanese do the, whiskey. Um, shout out to Ciroc, but let's do the whiskey. Let's do it. If we're doing shots, okay, we gotta do something. Do, okay, okay, okay. We gotta I, do I like something. your style. I yeah, like your style. Yeah, yeah. If we're doing this is shots. Japanese Delion, by the way. We're doing shots. Jamie, everything good? You ain't stressing, right? Yes, 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 yes. Am I going bad, right? You good? No, no, no. You good? 
Everything good, great. Right? Everything great. Everything we love great. everybody. Right. Everything great. We love everybody. That's right. That's right. Everybody. E L E. Everybody <laughs> like everybody. That's right. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something, boy. That boy Nori good. <laughs> <laughs> so look, look. You ready? Yeah. Drake or Wayne? Don't do that. <laughs> Shots. Shots immediately. Let me get your let me get your shot glass ready. <laughs> let me tell you. Well, yeah. you're gonna take little ones though. Yeah. You ain't got to, you ain't got to, you ain't got to. Pour that, please. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you can't you can't. First you can't of all, pick. Lil Wayne is my brother. Right. Drake is my brother. Right. Um the history with me and Lil Wayne is unbelievable. Yes. The the history you've made is unbelievable. Yes. So we take the shots history tonight. made with Drake is unbelievable. I can't do that. I yes. love them both. You love them both. There's no Let's way, no Let's way I would it. do that. I would the never yap- play myself. The Japanese whiskey. Cheers. Japanese whiskey. Uh, yeah. I love okay. y'all, brothers. I love y'all. Okay. I like. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is. You might have to drink again. <laughs> drink it again. Wow. I can oh, see this. By the way, this is Mr. Lee and um, Hazardous right there. They, they Chevy, Colum- you good? Ain't Co- Colombian and, and Dominicans. Okay. Fat Joe or Rick Ross? Wow. <laughs> got to drink yeah, again? Yeah, 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 you tripping. No, this is them. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not me. This is them. Don't do that. This is them. Don't do that. This is not me. Yo, Joe, Ross, you know I ain't going to fall for no trap. <laughs> yeah. I want them to hear that. Don't yeah. edit this shit. I'm not falling for yeah. no trap. You know I... Don't do that. <laughs> you know Joe Blood. You know Cross. Don't do that. <laughs> Give me two of these motherfuckers. Cause I don't want to make no mistake. Look. Do another one. I don't want to think it's for one person. Give me two. Okay, oh, that was all. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm not that's, playing. That's the first. They got to see this. Don't yeah, be doing all, no all. shit like that. Do a little one. Little, little one. Little one. Little one. Yeah, it's out of control little, now. Little one. <laughs> little one. Let's make the little one. Play it. Play it. Play it. This is a good one right here. You ask this one. E-Class or Ted Lucas? Man, y'all. <laughs> Man, y'all want politics. He's <laughs> <laughs> that double home team. <laughs> I got E class, my brother. You know right. that. Don't do yeah. that. Let's and, big up E class. And then shout yeah. out to and, Ted and Lucas. Lincoln, Lincoln, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those are two incredible Miami legends. Yeah, yeah. Right, so um, I love them both, man. Bring out the shot. Let's go. Let's okay. get shot. I, so and by the way, listen. I I, I I don't smoke really like that, but one split a day, keep the evil away. That's right. <laughs> we got that candy for you too, right here. And, and guess what? Do you know why? Because you staying alive, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Salud, salud. Pond the head cheers. top. Pond yeah, the head, top. head top. Mm. Wow. The runners or the renegades? I got love for both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the runners, I have more history with them. Okay. And I respect the renegades. You know what I'm saying? Young brothers doing their thing. I got love for both of them. And no disrespect to nobody, but of course the runners. I, okay. I, I have more history with them. Okay. I used to manage them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got, right. And I got love for the renegades. Yeah. You manage them too. No, 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 listen, guys, I love both of y'all. Yeah. But I can't keep drinking shots of whiskey when you <laughs> fucked up. Don't do that. So so I, I got to I gotta, I gotta play chess. I got to be smart now. I don't want to walk out this motherfucker like, yeah. And then he started asking some crazy shit. Like, oh, I got I to gotta, I gotta choose my back. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hold on, before, like, you, go don't to, do before that. you go to that one, let me throw one in there. Okay, go ahead. Mix 96 and 99 jams. Wow. You know, fucking take the shot. Out. <laughs> you know, both of those stations, you know, believed in me in so many Absolutely. levels. Mix 96 and, and 99 jams. I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for right. Mix 96 and 99 jams. Right. Right. You know, meaning as in like, they helped me not be a secret where people can hear me and right. hear my talent and, and hear my energy. You know what I mean? That's a blessing that they gave me their platform to DJ at and get on that mic and spread that love and look where I'm at now. Yes. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Salud. 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 This next one, I'm gonna just get my shot ready too. Got it. This, I think this is shot city for everybody. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They, 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 no. they made it real hard for you. That's I Mr. Am, Lee. I Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee. No, look at me. <laughs> God did. God did. God did. They don't believe in us. God did. <laughs> Yeah. You better oh, believe it. Oh, man, you you better they, believe they, they, it. They were hard on you, Carly. Pause. Um, Nas or Jay? Come on, no. This is them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right. going to take this shot for you. You yeah. can skip this one. Yeah, you can, all right, all right, you don't do, do that. Like, y'all, y'all try. Yeah. Yeah, who made this game up? This game is I mean, like. I made the game you know, up. I made it up. I made it up, Yo. but they made the, the actual questions. Listen, yeah, I, so, got, so I love the, everybody. Cheers cheers, 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 cheers. Japanese whiskey. Yeah, ja- uh, Japanese whiskey. And this shit is expensive. Demi Deleon, sorry. Yes, it is. Let's get the other one. Let's get the other one. 
Let, let me do the next one and switch it up, though. Okay. It's Trick or Pitbull. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> Yo, when is the game start? How many questions is it? <laughs> nah, it's not getting, it's ridiculous. Because you can keep going. So, what was it? Like? You didn't tell me when we started. There's an amount of questions. There's got to be a certain amount. Three questions, five questions, how many? Yo, I love both of them. Don't do that. I made a record with both of them called Born and Raised with me, Ross, Triple P. Yes, yeah, that, that, that shit changed my life. That's right. How's it not? Come on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. This one is, is, is Future or Little Baby? Yo. <laughs> Those are my brothers, man. They on my album. Yes. Don't let me drop another Little Baby on your head. <laughs> Bro, let me drop a, a few futures <laughs> on your head. Right, let me right. tell you something about this album. Get the shot. Yeah, yeah, get the shot. Because <laughs> I can't. I don't want nobody to think I'm... Uh, like, I love those no, brothers. Those are my brothers. Nah, we love your energy, Carter. Uh, keep going. But keep let me going. tell you about this album. Yeah. It's so important that y'all really hear what I'm saying about this album. This album is called God Did. This is God Did. That's right. So all the greats that I did work with on this album, they ain't just do one. Right. Mm. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So we got another Drake on there somewhere. Don't let me put another six star on your fucking head. Anybody act up, I tell them to do more. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> I love but this energy. All the greats, everybody's great on the album. Mm -hmm. They're greats. Right. But I'm talking about goats. A, I'm talking about, okay, goats. Yes. Thank you. Yes. They ain't just do one. Wow. Uh, okay, shit. Well, he went towards two. Yeah, he went too bad. Excuse hey, me. They ain't just do one. We're gonna have to get something to eat after this. We're gonna take this shit out of this stuff. Cause I'm fucked up. You good? You good? I don't know how I'm gonna work after this. <laughs> you good? You good? I don't, you, know I don't, you know I don't do this. Yeah, that's okay. But I'm fucking with you. But but straight out of Compton or the Notorious movie? Notorious movie? Yeah. Yeah. Or straight movie, out of Compton. Yeah. Both of them is movies. I love everybody, bro. <laughs> So, so that's a shot. shot? I love Notorious, I love Compton, I love everybody. Like, take a shot. Are you yeah. serious? Oh, like, yeah. Yo, this guy is. Yeah. Who makes these questions up? <laughs> these, guys. these guys right there. <laughs> we love everybody. Yes. You want me okay. to get that one? Yeah, because that you Florida shit. <laughs> Denzel Curry, Kodak Black. I gotta choose my battles, because yes. I'm fucked up. I'm yes. drunk. Yes, yes. <laughs> Kodak Black, and I got love for Denzel Curry. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kodak Black, you know what I'm saying? First of all, it's Florida, both of them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Great choice. When it comes down to Florida, we, we love each other. Mm -hmm. We support each other. And Kodak Black, um, he's incredible. Right. Um, you see his, his growth, every album, every song, and just him as a person. Right. And then not just that, his people's my people, and you know what I mean? And he's just really incredible. Like the, the, his music, his lyrics. Right. What he did um, on the Kendrick album, crazy. Nah, right. The Kendrick album for sure, but before right. the Kendrick right, right, album, right, for sure. and that album's crazy. Right. But I'm talking about, but like everything he's done. If you watch everything he's done from from the beginning to where he's at, right. it's unbelievable. Mm. Kodak Black is special, and I just love his progress and his and his how he just keeps growing and growing and and he he he, he doing his thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got love for Kodak. Yep. And I got love for Denzel yeah, Curry. Denzel, I don't, I don't City, know him personally. Yeah, no, like, great. But I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I got to choose. I can't keep drinking. Like, <laughs> right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, that's honest. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, we love the honesty. Uh, okay. Wale or Meek Mill? Man, you know, I love both those brothers. Um, you know, that's MMG. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I got a chance to see Meek Mill. I knew Meek Mill before he signed. Um, get the shot while we talk. You know what okay. I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I knew Meek Mill before Ross signed him. Mm, really? You know, I, I remember doing a show in Philly. Mm. It was like in the trenches and uh, Meek pulled up and I was tearing that place down. Ask me. Mm -hmm. I was tearing that place down. Mm. And Meek blessed the stage that night too mm. and tore the place down. And um, that's the first time for me to experience the Meek energy. Right. It's before Ross signed him, before he, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you even probably knew he had a record. Right. right. You know, I got a chance to see the the early, make sure everybody knows I took a shot. Salud, salud. We're with you, bro. And when Ross signed him, I was like, man, super dope. And just to see where he's at now from where he, where he started, is so inspiring, all the trials and tribulations that right. he went through right. and overcome. Right. That's inspiring, big, you know what I mean, to me. keep going. And then Wale. Yeah, big up Wale as well. 
You know what I'm saying? Cool and Drake, fuck with the wa- right. fuck with uh, uh, cool Wale Drake, Hard. Man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So before Raw signed him, Cool and Dre was on, you know, I think produced one of their, his first yeah. big hit. Oh, wow. With Lady Gaga, right? With Lady Gaga. Okay. So I was on Wale early. Mm. And then when Raw signed him, I loved him more. Right. Mm. You, know, that's, you know, that's the family now. Mm. You know right. what I'm saying? So respect to those two brothers. Okay. Red Alert or Molly Mar? I mean, those are two legends. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I got love for Molly Mar. I love him. He's sympathy. I'm, how do you say that word? Sim- sim- Symphony. Uh, song, symphony. Symphony, right. Yeah. Right. All the classics he's right. made, that's a legend. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I have a relationship with Marley. Mar- I mean, uh, Red, Red Alert. Alert. Right. That's my heart. You right. know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, Red Alert know me from the beginning of my career. Right. So right. I got to go Red Alert. But I have super tremendous respect for Marley Mar. I have to go with Unk with Red Alert because that's my... I know him. You from the lean years. You from that. Yeah, yeah but not even just that. Yeah, 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 for sure. You, you for come sure. under that tree. Right, right. For sure. For sure. You're apple sure. under that tree. For sure. I for sure. For sure. Both Circle of them house or, 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 or hit back. Circle house. Really? Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Damn, I would have told you. Was no, say. Nah, Circle come house, on, man. I Circle I started, house is a, I made an a staple. I made an album before I put my first album out. Right. I have an album in Circle House right now on the reels. I go. A me, real, the me, two inch real. Yeah, me, Guru, Wu Tang, KRS. Rest in peace, Guru. Make a BB. That Make never BB. came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, BB. Never yeah, came yeah, out. Bad boys. Right? But never came out. They have it all the files in the in the reels. That's BB. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I have a whole album over there wow. that never came out before I made my first album. Right. The reason why I, I, I'm a little. Because I used to, I used to live over there. I used to produce all. But I used to see make you all in my hits in there. So much, especially around the cash money. That was money later. Games. That was later. Okay, cash money came. But Cash Money started in Circle House, you know that. No, Little I thought Wayne. they were, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Circle House, yeah, 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 started. They started there. They definitely Hit started there. Hit Factory came, I mean, that's a legendary spot, don't get it twisted. It was Criteria right. before. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, criteria. but yeah. Circle House is Miami Foundation. Yes, yes, Inner yes, Circle, yes. the group yeah, shout out to everybody. Yeah, everything is family, I called them bad boys, Inner Circle, Circle I mean. All yeah. that. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. Yeah, yeah, legends, legends. All that. Yeah, big up, and big up Biggie BB, that's my man. Yeah, it's family, family. Okay, all right, Um, where we at, EFN? Uh, Trina or Remy Ma? Yo, relax, yo. buddy. Yo, yo, take a shot, bro. I don't do anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't, just don't take no shot of EFN's Mama Wanda. Yo, listen, first yo, of all, Trina is, is... Home team right here. My I sister. keep again, I'm sorry. Trina's my sister. Remy's my TS sister. Right. I don't want no problems with none of those two girls. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Give me a uh, bottle. <laughs> <laughs> like, those are my, those are my <laughs> sisters. <laughs> those are legends. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Yo, Jamie, I am drunk. Fuck <laughs> okay. up. Get a whole pizza ready. <laughs> like I'm fucked up. This man's crazy. No, kick off, I swear to God. You know I don't drink like this. <laughs> okay, Funk Flex or DJ Kick Capri? Yo, bro, come on, man. Why? Come on, you gotta drink. Guys, we gotta I drink never met that. somebody that loves, uh, 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 what's this shit called? A fucking um, headlock. Like. We love both of them. Those okay. are legends. Funk Flex is my brother. You know, you know Flex, let's, let's talk about Flex for let's a second. Take Flex a shot, though. Take yeah, a shot. Okay. Um, I got you. Big Dog Pit Bulls. Funk Flex is my brother. You know, I'm so grateful for Funk Flex because he well, made. One of the first times I heard, I heard of you was on Funk Master Flex's show. That's big. Yeah. That was you when you did it's, that. And, and you from New York, yes, so yes. yes. Flex made me a pit bull. Yeah. Right. What, 25 years ago? I don't know how long right. it is. I mean, if you was long, a pit bull, you was that dude. If right, was I was a pit bull. Right. And um You would say that if it was Fat Joe first, it was Flex second. And that in, in the people that believed in you in that level. Oh, Flex, you know, Joe Crack is the one that talked to Flex. Yeah, like, yo, Flex, um, you gotta know this kid Khaled. I'm telling right. you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, Flex, you know, he came to my underground radio show at Mix 96. Right. You know, he officially met me and he, you know, we 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 bonded immediately. So you said Flex did, Flex you know, did. Flex did, but also Kid Capri now. Wow. My relationship with Kid Capri Kid is unbelievable. Is I used to open up for him. Mm. I used to sit there in the DJ booth mm. and watch him play. Mm. What I love about Kid Capri, he, he defined DJing to have respect to be a, as an artist as well. Right, yep. right. damn. And yep. you know the way he was rocking those that. parties was unbelievable. So right. both those brothers are legends and they my brothers. Right. You know, they call me today, I pick up. You okay. know what I'm saying? We talk, 
if they need me, if I could be there, I'll be there. I right. respect those brothers with nothing but respect. Right. Fire. I took a shot, right? We were into the shot for that. Yeah, you, 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 you say. Yeah. Dungeon Family or Wu-Tang? Damn. That's a rough one. I can't, I gotta take a shot. I can't <laughs> do it for the, this is for the culture. I gotta take it's a for shot. The like, I can't, like, Wu-Tang is legendary. Dungeon yeah. Family is legendary. I'm from the South, but I Would you like to see that as versus? You say you're a versus fan. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. crazy. That would be, versus, that would be, yeah. that, that is that would, the versus for Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's, That might be the biggest one. That might be the biggest. Y'all fucking drunk, bro. Yeah, you good, you good. We, we, we giving you your flowers. Cause you know why I call it? They didn't believe in you, mm. but we did. Drink yeah. tips, dude. Yeah. Drink tips, yeah. dude. I got, I got one. I got a, go. a ringer. Luke or Butterfuko? Don't do that. <laughs> Give me a shot, man. Y'all fucking dr- wait. Hold up. How many questions is it, bro? This is old. We almost old. No, we, we almost. almost old. We only got twenty left. Yeah. And we 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 halfway. Yo, Jay, yeah, we ha- I am fucked up. We halfway through. Okay, gotta get the next one, um, E. Yo, this is crazy. Well, let's, show, drink, let's drink on, the f- okay, on this I'm one right now. Okay, I love okay. Butterfuko. Yes. That's, that's family, yes, beyond family. family. Yes. Luke, I love yes. Luke. You know yes. Luke. You know what Luke did? Yes. Luke and Butterfuko. Yeah, that's did. why. I, that's, that's that's a big one. That's what that right. is. That's, right there. that's why one. I brought it that right. way. You know Luke. Let me take the shot first. Yeah. Shout out to Luke. Shout out to Butterfuko. Luke. Butterfuko put me on Mix 96. God bless Daddy Saul. It was uh, Butterfuko, Daddy Saul, and AJ. Mm-hmm. Put me Didn't he have like a, uh, a festival or something? Oh, that was Al. Al. That's Uncle Al. Uncle Al. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Yeah, peace and, um, and um, put me on Mix 96. Right. You know, I'll never forget, I came with 25 crates. Mm. You know, I, I took the Miami tra- Tri-Rail yep. with 25 crates. 25 crates. That's All right. Yeah, 25 that's crates on the Tri-Rail. Right. Um, you know, it was a secret location back then, but I can say it now, going straight to Biscayne View. Right. Wow. One of them tall buildings. I was right under you at the other uh, station. Uh, right uh, below. Uh, uh, Pirate Radio. Yeah. 25 crates of the elevator. All right. All right. Talent yeah. making maybe $20 a week at that time. Woo. Okay. So don't and I came part. to that station and I said, I'm the biggest. Off rip. <laughs> Out the gate. Off rip. I came with my crates. I'm not asking. I said, I'm the biggest. <laughs> Let me on the air. All right. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. And this is an all Caribbean station no, no, at the time. They look at me like I'm crazy. Good. Butterfuko, Daddy Shaw was like, you know what? Let him on the air. You know, I made a movie. I made a movie. The whole phone's lighting up. Who's this kid? This kid's unbelievable. Boom, 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 boom. And from that day on, I was DJing seven days a week on pirate radio. I would sleep on the floor in the pirate radio on the floor. That's when you was the Arab attack? Yeah, my, yeah. I, I, I was Arab oh. attack. I was... Good. Right. I was uh, the Don Dada, the Don right. Gargan. I was so many names. Right. Right. And I would sleep on the floor. When everybody would go out to clubs, I would DJ on the air because Pirate Radio says 20, you know. Right. I, so they kept hearing my voice and me cutting it up and playing all these songs. Um, and How Can I Be Down came and everybody wanted to go to the, the convention. I wanted to be on the radio. Because right. when everybody was going to the convention, they was listening to me on the radio. Mm. My name is starting to get on fire. Mm. Your family yeah, would tell me, Eddie Commercial tell radio wasn't doing what was going on. So I got temple. too much respect for Butterfuko because okay. that was his, you know, him and Daddy Saw and AJ, right. that was their platform and they right. put me on it. Then me being on fire over there got me on 99 Jams with Uncle Luke. Mm. Well, Uncle Luke called me say I want you to be my DJ yeah. wow. on, on the radio show. show and a wow. co-host. Yeah. Wow. So now I come from the Pirate Radio and go to the big station. I'm doing both at the same time now. Wow. I'm on fire See, in the streets. People don't know that. I'm yeah. on fire in Miami streets. EFN will tell you. Mm-hmm. You're saying they blessed me rocking. They used to run a club called Club Crane. Mm. That was like, that Our was homies, their, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was like, you know, Shout yeah, I played there, them. but that was like their stomping ground. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. they had, they they was tied in with you. You know, right. I told you that story where right. I yeah. wanted to book you, right. but they ain't hearing that. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. That's how you trying to say. No, it's like, no, it's like, no, it's like, no, it's like you booking Fat Joe at that time. No, no, it's not. No negative. That's that's your guy. And you, you got what 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 out? I'm like, I need you. I need no. And hey, man, like, nah, we got him. We're promoters. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> he invented it. <laughs> That's why I love this relationship. Right, right, right. Love. How y'all get money together right, right. and how y'all, right. I, this is like, it's, that's yeah. like me and Joe. Right, right. That's inspiring, and I, and, I, and I respect y'all for that. Appreciate and I, I wish people would know y'all story a little more, because yeah. it's such a deep story. Yeah, it is. Um, right. yeah. So Luke and Butterfuko, that's like my brothers. Come on. Right. Okay, yes. Okay, so we moving on. I don't know if I'm um, talking too much. I'm no, drinking. No, 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 we good. I really don't know what the fuck's going on. Queen Latifah or MC Light? Don't do that. Because I got love for MC Light, I got love for Queen Latifah. You know what I'm saying? Queen Latifah. But you gotta pick your They size. both love me and I love them. Those are legends. Let's take a shot. Let's take, <laughs> take a shot. All right, we in. I still see them every year live. Right, yes. Take yes. a shot. Yes. <laughs> He's I love them. The I love them. Those yeah. are legends, man. Yeah. Yeah. Without MC Light and Queen Latifah, Come on. Yes, it's true. Nah, they broke no. down they all icons. the doors. They are icons. They, they are icons. icons. We need them on the chance. But they broke down all the doors. Come on. I got one. Okay. Gunplay or Briscoe? Man, you know, those are two Miami brothers that I got super love for. Um, you know, obviously Gunplay and Briscoe, that come from the movement. Right, right. You know, we got a thing called the Miami movement. You know, you know, we all part of part of that movement mm -hmm. in here. Right. Oh shit, I'm drunk. Look at this Don't shit. Don't worry, about it. Are you good? Um, so I have to take a shot because I love both of them. Okay. I love both of them. Briscoe I ain't gonna and- lie, you the first nigga that's politically getting you fucked up. It's not even being- <laughs> It's not, it's not even being politically. Nah. It's, it's actually being nah, he, real he, he, and pure. Being no, he, 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 like, I'm not making pure. this up. Like, no, no, you're right. And those things we throw at right. him, is, is, you can't like, pick. I can't right. even play myself. You make sense. You make like, sense. I can't, you make like, sense. Come on, brother. We're here with you. God did August 26th. That's one thing I'm not, I'm super focused uh, even if I'm drunk. August 26th. We August 26th. All right. We're a quarter done. Wow. Okay. You skipping? Yeah. Okay, you want to go? Uh, Do we get back into like questions? Yeah, we got, yeah, yeah. We, we just, this is still, a great game, boss. This game is still going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, we're, so almost we're almost done. Hold on, this game is this long for everybody? Yeah, everybody. Oh, for everybody. everybody. I'm going to be real sure. I've watched a show. I've never seen this game as long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear to God. I might have heard two, three of them. <laughs> no, 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 it's, no, no, it's mad long. No, so how long is your show? Seven hours? It could be. It could be. We get Kanye four and four of Nah, it's too much. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> this shit. No, no, we only got a couple bills. <laughs> nah, nah, Jay, it's too much. Come on. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna skip, skip, nah, skip a couple. Nah, I'm gonna skip a couple. I'm gonna skip a couple. We love you so much, Kyle. We're gonna skip a couple. We're gonna go down. Let's, 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 get, let's get back to the vibe. Okay, hold on, hold on. Go, go back to Primo. Go down okay, to Primo. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. We're Primo. Okay, okay. Start from there. Yeah, I was okay, saying. Okay, Primo or Pete Rock? Wow. Um. You know, first of all, let's talk about Primo and P. Rock. Get a shot. Legends. Mm. You know, I got too much respect because yes. um, as a DJ, you know, I come from DJ and I'm still one of the biggest DJs you could ever right. you know. know you still DJ sometimes? Of course he does. Right, I, yeah, I'm one of the best that ever did it. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't drunk talk, right, right. this ain't none of but that. But you'll still go on. I'm one of the best right. that ever did it. Right. I ain't say, I'm my birthday best. coming up. I didn't say I'm the best. He's leaving room. I'm one of the best. <laughs> right, right. And I got too much respect for the ones before me. Right. Like, like my birthday EFN. coming up. If I could call EFN. Colin, when Colin it come would out, do hold a on, set hold for on, me. Hold on, hold on. On a DJ talk. EFN, speak, please. No, he's absolutely you're a DJ. Right. Yeah. EFN, please. I don't want to speak because... First of you, all, you... Without you that, speak. Without, you know me. Without you that, fucking without know that, me. There's no don't us. fucking hold back. You without that, there's no us. And then, and then, no, 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 I don't want to hear that either. I want you to tell them, like, you Which, know what, what you, you know, was doing? What you was doing? Just tell them, like, you know. <laughs> we need Eddie to help you, like, you know? <laughs> That's why Eddie's here. You need him to help you? <laughs> That's why Eddie's here. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> talk to him. Yeah. Eddie, by the way, Eddie, Eddie, oh, before, you before you say something, yes. right, before, before you say something. Whatever you eat and drinking, you haven't aged a minute. I lost God all bless you. Yeah, no, no, but God bless you. You haven't aged. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I've known these brothers for 27 yes, years. Yes, yes. Exactly. We're all, 27 we're years. all from the gutter right here. I'm from Same. Miami Dade County 305. Yeah, yeah. This is my home. Yes, yes. Right. If I can play with me, I've been waiting at 305. Five flag forever. Yes. And yes. speak. I don't want to speak. No. You speak. No. Y'all speak. Hardest working DJ. Yes. Hands down. Hands down. No. Hands down. Everything. Hands uh, we on the, the best table. promotions. Right. Yes. We, we, we was on the streets. Tell them about me on them fucking tables. Oh, the table. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do what you do ever. You're, you're nasty. Madhouse. We, we was there for Madhouse. I'm uh, a sound killer. Yes. yes. And. Yes. And. 
You know, I'm nice. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm nice. <laughs> Ian Fantello. But, 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 but hold up. Be, besides, I'm nice. Hold up, hold up. Besides nice. No, whoop your ass. Besides nice, I witnessed in Jamaica. Right. Him doing a legit sound clash in Jamaica. Wow. Murdering it. Wow. Nori, wow. I've been killing sound my whole life. <laughs> You want me to keep killing sound? I do. Let me tell you something. What he brought up is crazy because I want you to hear what he said. I come from the mud, right. which is a beautiful place. <laughs> yes. No, it is. Yeah, it's okay. yes. I actually have more fun in the mud than I have now. Mm. I know that sounds crazy. It does sound crazy. But I'm from the mud to fucking marble floors and limestone. Mm -hmm. All right? And what he's saying is, it goes back to what I was trying to tell you, and we have to let the youth know, you have to progress. Mm -hmm. You have to grow. So how I kill sound now right. is by my albums, mm. my anthems, mm. my singles, mm. my body of work. That's my new way of killing sound. Mm. You don't want me to go back to them days. Right. Kala was, right. was I'm a sound killer. Good. I kill sound. These are your original dub plates. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, no, I don't think you understand. I kill sound. Not like, 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 no, I kill sound. Like, no, you he's not playing with the chain, bro. No. He was this. The the yeah, yeah, am, this I play, the, am I, am no, I playing with no, you? No, no, no. I kill sound. <laughs> like, like, you can't recover from the type of killing I do. <laughs> Like, I don't want to just turn into some, I love, and I love everybody, I have, without me being a sound boy, wouldn't make who DJ Khaled is today, right, that's right, why if you right. hear my music, right. now listen to my music different after I told you I kill sound, yes. right. <laughs> listen to my music different now because I took that talent right. into my albums, Yeah. if you notice, all my records have the biggest hooks, Yes. Um. You know, when you hear it on the radio, it's always standing out. Right. You know, if it's in a club, it, it, uh, if it's a collaboration, that's just unbelievable. That's how I used to cut dub. Mm. Right. That's how I used to kill sound. Mm. When I used to be on stage, you know, it's not only having the dub plate, it's how you bring it in. It's the talk game. Remember, people don't know what dub plates are. Let's pretend yeah. that nobody knows what it's that like, is. It's like when so I got a freestyle free for you free on my right, right, The only right, difference right. is I would tell you to kill sound. Right, right, right. right, right I would right. say, what, what, what? I would be like, kill, 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 yeah, kill, yeah, kill, yeah, kill, yeah, kill. Yeah, instead right. of what, 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 right. what, what? Wow. It's called kill sound. I'm a sound boy. I'm a sound dawn. Right. I am a sound legend. Wow. I am a sound king. Right. I take no talk back to your history. <laughs> ask anyone. Ask the streets. Right. Ask the trenches. They know me. The streets know my fucking name. <laughs> and we're still drinking for that. <laughs> no, I don't think you understand that. I gotta go back to this. Right. So fuck it, fuck it's a smooth shit. Y'all got me on some Japanese whiskey. Like, <laughs> Japanese daily on. Japanese daily over. Uh oh, I love everybody. You know that. Yes, so we, yes. we we established Primo P Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we love him. We love the next one is Illmatic or Doggy Style. Ooh. Wow, come on. That's two of the biggest. Back uh, some of the, those two albums probably two of the the top five biggest albums of the ever. Right. Oh, thank you so much. A pizza to get this liquor on. <laughs> now you a real one. <laughs> he made it. He, it he made it himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Dominican pizza. Wow. <laughs> You know, it should help yeah, this yeah, shit yeah. come out. No problem. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Doggy Bro. Style or Illmatic? Yeah, Doggy yeah. Style or Illmatic, two of my favorite albums. Wow. Probably two of my top five ever albums ever created in life. Illmatic was like, like I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Right. Especially yeah. as a DJ and as a producer, a young producer, I couldn't believe the shit I was hearing. Right. And then the lyrics and the way it resonated with me. Then I heard Doggy Style, I was like, oh my fucking God. When I heard Doggy Style, I was like, I never heard an album with a sound. Dr. Dre did the whole album. Yes. So that's when I, the creation of the sound right. of a whole album. Right. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 you didn't like this shit for us? Hop and Scott. You know, that's about all. You know, those anthems on that record. It was It was so, yeah. Doggy Style and Illmatic was like, my 
two top five albums of all time. Yes, it's up there with me too. No, for sure. And I love Snoop Dogg. I love Nas. You know that. Yes. Can I divert from from Quick Time real quick? Cool. What um, where do you think defined your musical taste? New Orleans, Orlando, Miami. You know, I used to live in North Carolina too. Wow. So that's a part of your trajectory. Yeah, but I'm a Florida boy. I've been. I was like my whole. I was raised in Florida. Right, right. But my parents, you know, my inspiration come from my parents. Okay. Right. My mom and dad. You know what I love about my mom and dad? They work seven days a week. They never took one day off. Wow. But they still found time to, to raise me and my brother and my sister and show us so much love and let us know how, how beautiful God is and that hard work is so important. Right. right. So I got to watch them every single day work. Right. Selling clothes out their trunk. They used to put the little... The fanny, what's that little pouch in front of you? What's the, the fanny, fanny pack? pack? The fanny, fanny pack, pack with the money. They used money. to put it on me when I was five years old. That's how they, they would sell clothes in the flea market and I would put wow. it in my pocket. You know, but I was raised seeing this shit. Wow. So they were my inspiration of taking care of us and still providing for us. Right. When I seen that at 10 years old, I remember at around 10 years old, I started saying, Man, this is unbelievable. And ten years old, you're in New Orleans. No, no, no. I was huh? I was born in New Orleans, but I immediately went to Florida. Because well, didn't you work I, in a record store? No, but in the middle right. of Florida, I used to go back and forth to New okay, Orleans. Okay, okay, okay. So I would move back for a year or two years or three years right. and come back to Florida. Got it, got it. You know what I'm saying? Um so I used to work at Odyssey Records where Lil Wayne got signed. Right, right. Birdman oh. met Lil Wayne while I was working at Lil Odyssey Records. Lil Wayne said it, I think, on Dream Champs. Yeah. We talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was the DJ at Odyssey Records. Yeah. And Lil Wayne used to come in all the time. That's incredible. Um, and Birdman crazy. used to come with the old bands. Back in the day, it was a new bands, but the old right. bands. Right. Him and Slim used to come with CDs and tapes. And I'd be behind the desk DJing and we would drop a CD and tape before they had the deal. So when they Whoa. dropped the CDs and tapes, I would put them in the rack and it would sell out in 30 minutes. Oof. And I would call Burbank and them like, yo, it's sold out. And the owner of the record store was called Gary from Odyssey. So they would pull back up and I would tell them to bring more CDs and tapes. And I would tell them like, yo, record companies are calling up asking me if this shit is real. Mm. Right. And I'm like, it's selling out in 20, 30 minutes. Right. Like the minute I put it on the rack, it sold out. And at that time it was BG. Right. It was BG and um, Juvenile. BG and then Juvenile and then Wayne got signed. Right. So I was blessed to see that and I used to record, I used to make beats in Master P Studio. This man trying to fuck us up. <laughs> I never seen a show like this. <laughs> the show's not healthy. <laughs> Give it to the crowd, boys. Give it to the crowd. Give it to the crowd, boys. Turn it boys. on. He said turn it that way. He said turn it that way. Let's do it. Let's get this. Put your head top. Put your head top. Put your head top. Let's go, boy. Put your head top. You're the biggest. 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 You're the in there. Jesus this Christmas. First, this is our first time putting Gumbo in there. Fuck. And it was Oh, not that's Gumbo? No wonder! No wonder! No wonder. Holy yeah. shit, that, that, that gumbo changed the trajectory. That changed everything. Nigga, gumbo nigga, changed everything on that I one. was coughing from here. That shit ain't even come near me. Come on, man. I don't but even smoke. Probably, come on. You're the biggest in the game. Absolutely. We want to give you your flowers, uh, your pizza, your love. 
We even love Chef Melissa. Yeah, I love her too. Yes, because that's how big you are. We actually know. But there was a footage at one point of you trying, they said they tried to get you to go on this elevator shit downstairs. And you was like, no way. You said, I'm the father of a show. Are you talking about the, yeah. um, in uh, Mexico? Mm -hmm. It was a. Um, like a bridge going over yes, like an open yeah. mountain or some shit. Yes. You know me, um, I ain't playing with my life. Yes. Yeah, it is like, yeah. there's certain things that you have to, you yeah. know, go through in life and it, it might be out of your control and you gotta deal with it at that moment. Right. right. But I'm on vacation, the man told me he wanted me to ride a four-wheeler through a bridge that looked like it's hanging by a string. Right. You did some calculations. You know, right you're talking about, yo, yo, go through. I'm like, yo, listen, bro. Like, I'm on vacation, bro. I'm not trying to do no shit like this. <laughs> you know, the queen won a four-wheeler. The team won a four-wheeler. I ain't asked to go across a fucking canyon that's 100 feet in the sky. I'm not doing that. I was explaining to him, like, yo, I'm the father of Assad. Now I'm the father of Assad and Elon. Right. Yes, right. So I'm telling myself, why would I do this? Tell me, I'm trying to explain to myself, why would I do this? So of course, it's not me being scared, it's called being smart. Yeah, smart, yes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I wouldn't you know, people, I know people enjoyed that clip, right. but it's a real life lesson if you think about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? People sometimes do the cool, thinking it's the cool thing and not knowing being doing the smart thing is better than doing right. the thinking the cool thing. Right. Because the cool thing is called being smart, right. being safe, yes. being blessed, being alive, being alive, <laughs> staying being alive, alive. <laughs> protecting your blessings, yes. knowing I'm fucked up. I'm gonna take a shot to that. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Take a shot to that. I'm taking a like I never seen no shit like this in my life. <laughs> you want to take a shot to that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot for you, though, Kyle. All right, we, we got already, no more quick time slide. We can we we get nah, off. Get off the quick yeah, time slide. We done. We done. The last one. Oh, the last one? Oh, yeah. The last oh, one. Oh, the last one. The last one is legend. Oh, the last yeah, one. The last yeah, one we got to do this one. one. It's, it's, it's not a trick question, but everyone thinks it's a trick, trick question. Loyalty or respect? Let me take my glasses off. <clears throat> um, I would say both, mm. but I want to break down respect and loyalty. Loyalty, and Joel Santana said something beautiful on here. Yes. Where he said, you know, you gotta know the definition of loyalty or stupidity, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, that was you it. know, you can't fall for, for being stupidity. Right. You know, and people try throwing the loyalty right. for you to do some stupidity. Right. So we not with that. Right. Now, if you're loyal to somebody that's real and it's and, and loyal respects, re, um, respects back, loyalty is called Really, I call it a family thing. Right. You know, being family, and only way you can have loyalty and be a family is to have respect. Yes, right. Without the respect, you can't have loyalty. It's hand in hand. So you can't have no dumbness trying to be cool, being loyalty, and ruin your whole life. Now, if you have respect and you have loyalty, it's going to level out perfect because it wouldn't be no stupidity. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you need both. Right. Um, so we go take a shot. We need a drink. Yeah, you need both. Yeah, you need both. We need drinks. You need both. Come on, Kyle. Let's get the last shot. You got that last one. The last one. Come on. Yeah. The last one. Come on. They're saying that this is part of your head. That's part of the question yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. It's part of your head. It's the last one. It's the last one. It's the last one. It's the choose one. Yeah, there's no more. Yeah, yeah. It's the last one. Last one. You know what we call this last shot? Pun your head top. Pun your head top. Pun your head top. Pun your head top. DJ Kyle. Pun your head top. DJ Khan. Cork it. Now we Do back to ever, the regular interview. Can we talk about the album? Let's talk about the album. I'm Let's ready. Go. Let's I'm go. Ready. God did. You know what I'm saying? I'm so fucked up. God right? did. God did. No, it's crazy. I never seen so that shit out so how many, So you say you we're working up to the very last end. So you but how many tracks do we have right now for God? I mean, right now, you, you know, you, we in the last minute magic hour. Okay. So I don't know when this interview's coming out. Right. But today we're in the last minute okay. magic hour. Um, they asked me to turn in the album and actually 
by Friday. And we today, said they took Sylvia Rome. Who's Sylvia Rome? Not day. Epic. The family. Not day. Not, not day. Yeah, 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 day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Business day. day. Yeah. Business day. The business family. family. Yeah. The other team, day. Team. The other day. Shout out to Epic Rapics. Shout out to Epic. Am I talking right? Am I fucked yeah, up? No, no. We just shout out to Epic Rapics. We can't confuse the days. We the best music. Shout out to Rock Nation. The family. Yes. Rock Nation. Want me to turn in the album now. The album's coming out August 26. Okay. So I'm working on it. But um, there's some last minute magic that's happening and there's a rumbles. Right. You know, like I said, this album is called God Did and this is God Did. I'm telling you, man, like mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not just, first of all, my track record speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Um, this album, God's always had his hands on all my albums, but this God did. Mm. Wait. And it's setting up the new chapter and it's just beyond special. Like this, this last minute magic is unbelievable. Not even just the last minute magic, the whole process mm. has been unbelievable. Everybody I work with gave me their A game. Mm. And what's so dope is, you know, to get texts, people on the text or a phone call like, yo, the vocals excited. Are no, they're excited about what we recorded. Mm. I am drunk, so I don't know how I'm sounding. No, Jamie, I, I really don't. So <laughs> you have to get with Nori. Call the whole team. Because I don't know if I'm We got to get him the hangover. Like, find out the final edit. Because I really No, I swear to God, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm fucked up. No, it's always real talk, but I don't understand. Like It's like I'm floating. You're the best. And this is the best. Look, you need the hangover pill. It worked right out. Bang it out. We're going to give that to you. We'll get Bacadac. Let's go. It won't be right out. You're back there. You're back there normal. Yeah, we got his whole bag. Yeah, we got his whole bag. Yeah, eat another slice of pizza. Yeah, look. There you go. Whole can package. Whole can package for you. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Somebody took that big bag. Where's it at? Oh, no. It's right there. It's right in front of you. Right in front of you. Don't worry about it. Is it? Punch your head top. Punch your head top. He's focused. He's focused. He's focused. He's focused. So he said not let me that. ask you, let me ask you, really, what do you like more? Making the record or performing the record? Making the record. Making and the I record. love performing the record too. Right. But making the record, but when you perform the record to see the response, the energy, mm -hmm. it, it goes back to making the record like right. you know, making the record is like, you know, when I make records, I don't ask nobody if you like it or don't like it. Mm. I don't I don't accept no opinions. Right. Mm. I think that's the key to my success. Mm. That I never accepted anybody's opinion, even if it was good. Right. Wait, elaborate. What do you mean by that? Like, how are you getting the opinion to start with? Like, I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of people don't hear my music till like. Because you don't it, want any opinions. I don't let people hear my music till it come out. And if you heard it, it's because you was recording with me. Right. right. That's what I'm saying. You don't. You're not yeah, trying no, to. No, no, no. I don't an ask opinion. for opinion. None of that. Right. This God did not just this album, but like. My whole process of making music. Right. Um, I love I making music. I, I come, I breathe, sleep, eat hip hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's my life. Mm. You know, I consider me as a father, I consider me a hip hop dad too. Right. That's how much I represent hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, the, I'm one of the flag holders. Right. Um, so when I make my music, that's why I'm so consistent here, fan, Nori. Mm. Like I'm trying to put an album out every year or every year and a half because that means I'm ahead of the time. Right. Those people that take years off, they got to figure it out. Right. They got to catch up. I'm ahead of the time. I am the sound. I am the wave. Right. I am the sauce. Right. I am the anthem. Right. right. I'm the one that you come for hits for. I'm the one that you want to get a record on. I'm the one. So that's why I put an album out every year. I don't like, I don't want to take, I'm not stopping, hurry. Right, right. And not just in music. Right. Like I got so many businesses right. about to open. But let's yeah. talk about the Jordans. How about you talk about the Jordans? I mean, the Jordan yeah. release is coming out this year. We're about to announce the date. Um, I will say on this Drink Champs, it's two Jordans that's coming out as two. official Damn. release. Because, and, because the other two, like six. and the other two, will be friends and family. Oh, but yes, man. I have like a hundred. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. Right. 
I don't want. I don't want to sound like I'm like. No, no, like, no, no. I don't want to keep. You don't, you don't make me go back. No, no, I don't want to do this. You got a Jordan deal. No, that's crazy. God, God is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's God, God, real shit. Real shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let me tell you something about it. Did he your leather? Oh no, my leather went over budget on another level. Okay. The details on the shoe when it comes out is is beyond amazing. Um. Man, I'm so grateful for that re- well, relationship with Reggie Big and uh, Reggie, 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 Reggie and MJ did. Yes, yes. Um, my relationship with both of them is just special. Um, my loyalty to both of them is special. Still in the meeting. Still in the meeting. Yes. Um, it was a dream of, dream of mine as a kid. And How I always said I was going to get a Jordan deal and I didn't stop till I got it. Mm. Right. And, and, and even other people were trying to offer me deals. I, I said, I can't. Because my fans know that I wear Jordans and that is that. If I did that deal, it don't even make sense. Right. right. Because I really don't love that. No right. disrespect. No disrespect. Like, you know, even if it was a number behind it, a right. money that's, bag. That's authenticity. Whatever. Jordan, he's my inspiration. Right. Mm. He's one of the guys I looked up look up to. You know, so I told you Barry Gordy, Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, Pub Daddy. You know, shout out to Joe Crack. Mm. And then as far as like, Michael Jordan, he's right. also one of my inspirations too right. for, to do what I'm doing today. Right. So for him to give me my deal, Reggie and MJ, you know, officially gave me my deal, man, it was a blessing, man. Dude. Not only did I get my deal, my son had his own Jordan line. Oof. Wow. That's amazing. Like, come on, man. Like, that's fire. Look at God. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at God. God. God did. God did. Yeah, yeah, I'm on that Japanese whiskey, whatever yeah. shit you call it. <laughs> Japanese de Leon. Look at God did. Yeah. That's one yeah. thing I know. I'm focused. God yes. did. I'm God fucked did. up. You know that game, right? <laughs> and, and and by the way, it's not like you just got Jordans because you could have had you could have had you could have had a pair of Jordans, but you like them. Just is pretty. This is just beautiful that you got. I remember my first time seeing them was at the whole um uh, the Walk of Fame, and oh yeah, I wore them. And man. and you wore them, and I was just like, those is really 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 dope sneakers. Not just because you got a, Jordan, uh, a deal with Jordan, but you, so you designed this? Was you? Yeah, so me, um, the Jordan team, and the yeah. We The Best team. Okay. Mm. We The Best and Jordan. That's why y'all was in the meeting, still in the meeting? Still in the meeting. We designed okay. it together. Right. You know, one thing about me, teamwork make, make a dream work. Make a dream work. Like, I was selling Kiko, I was selling Jamie. Is Kiko here? Yeah, Kiko here. Shout out Kiko. DJ Nasty, shout out Nasty. I was selling Mokes, I was selling Ivan, I was selling everybody on my team. Their title, I changed their title this week. Right. Head of everything. Mm. Instead of like head of marketing, head of this, head of VP, head of everything. When you work with Calvin and we the best in the family, you're head of everything. That's what we doing here. We're not like these other people. Yeah. You know, head of VP, head of marketing, head of this, uh, uh, senior or <laughs> vice or, you know, intern. Head of everything! <laughs> That's what happens at We The Best. Head of every fucking thing. I think Boris, you're head of everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. No, but, you know, because the thing is that I noticed with my team, my team is so focused, if they have to turn into somebody else's responsibility, they do it that right, quick. Right, right. It's fire. Like if it's like marketing or if it's like um, whatever, management, everybody jump into that mode. We got to get it done. Mm-hmm. There's no excuse of being great. If you want to be great, you got to put in the work, period. Right. You know what I mean? And my team is my family. Like, the way we work at We The Best is a family thing. And um, I love my, my brothers and sisters on my team. Like, what they do for me, yeah. you know what I mean? They, they live my life. <coughs> yeah. And I live their life. And I'm saying to myself, man, I'm honored to have friends like that. So they, they they don't I don't like using the word work for me, they the family. Mm-hmm. I mean they go back. I mean yeah, shout out my, to Patty, circle, shout out to Kiko, like circle, as far as we know. Yeah, Patty, everybody. My circle is the same circle you met 27 years ago. Right. Wow. Like, same with Crazy talk. Hood. Same thing. Yeah. With same. Us. Yeah. Same with y'all. I know I was with your yeah. man the other night. I busted his video. He was shooting a video for him. Oh Garcia. Garcia. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying like. I fucked up, right? No, no, you good, you good. You holding it down. That's family, bro. You holding it down. Go ahead. You holding it down. We got you, dog. I need water. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know if this is healthy. 
<laughs> no, 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 but you're only doing it tonight and it's done. You only then you balance it tomorrow. You, you know oh, I'm okay. trying to finish my album. You know why? You're going to drink you know green juice tomorrow. God did. God did. God did. You know what I think? I don't want to say this, but yes. it helps take the pain away a little. You know? A little. A little. A little. A little. It helps the release. Because at, at Summer Jam last year, <laughs> was it last year or the year before that? Which Summer Jam? They seen, they seen that uh, Elliot Wilson pushed you off at one point. Pushed him off? Summer Jam? Yeah, Summer Jam. Pushed him off? P he pissed you off. Oh, pissed. We pissed. were walking through the hallways and you were- Oh, you know about that? Yeah, I was How you know about that? That's, That's God, crazy. <laughs> That was a while ago. Yeah. Shout out to Elliot yeah. Wilson. That's our brother. Right. But he didn't believe in you. I wouldn't say he didn't believe in me. You know, I'm doing an interview with him. Rap Radar? Um, he asked me to do Rap Radar. Yeah. Elliot Wilson's my brother. I love Elliot Wilson. Um, but but it's crazy how you brought you. that up because <laughs> there was a moment. No, 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 no. One thing about me, I'm so pure mm -hmm. that if I'm disappointed in you, you if I see you, yes. I can't be fake with you. Right. I just can't. Cause you know I represent love and like you know that. Yeah, like, Ethan, you know that. Like, Positive I, energy. I've been That's through I've been through so much shit in my life. Like no, you, yeah. if I ever put a documentary, if I tell you like the in-depth stories of my life, mm. like you look at me different. Mm. You know, forget just the music and the success and the blessings. I'm talking about the shit I've been through. Right. Trust me. Right. And I know you, you right. probably been through the same yes, shit I've been yes. through. No, 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 no. Me and Elliot are good. We about, actually, I'm about, to do, I'm about to do a show. Um, um, it's, it's, Rap Radar. It's, it's, it's Rap Radar. Radar. It's the same show, but I think a new platform. They're bringing it back. Yeah, right, they're bringing it back. They're bringing it back, yep. so I'm doing it. But yeah, we did have a, um, uh, a running in, what do you call it? Running in the hallway. It was in Brooklyn Barclays Center. The Barclays, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot what he didn't believe in me. At the, I mean, well, <laughs> Elliot, you know, you're my brother. I'm drunk. This I'm was a, then. This is then. <laughs> Not now, he this said, is then. You're right. <laughs> it's quick, cause I, I had to think about it. He really, I thought, well, I'm gonna say this, let's in his say, defense. Say, I thought he didn't believe in me. God did. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, what was that shit he used to do? Rap the, um, Radar. B Brian B. Dot? No, no, he used to do the big show. Um, the website? You know, he interview the artists. That was Rap Radar. That no, I know that, but it was a special version. one where you do a Oh, beam. I know what you're talking about. What's uh, it called? It was sponsored by oh, Crown. 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 The okay. Crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was asking Thanks, him Dre. for the Crown at that time. Right. Oh, he didn't give you the Crown. He didn't, at, at that time. At that time. At that Damn. time. He wouldn't give me the Crown. Until God did. I am the fucking Crown. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was good. I was beyond confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Elliot Wilson, we but love such him. a brother. We love him. So, but, yeah. again, me being pure right. and me being honest, when I seen him, mm -hmm. we had passionate love. It's love. Yeah, passionate you had love. You had to express yourself. I had to express myself passionate love. Yeah. Um, it's crazy because I'm about to do this interview. Yeah. I'm about to do it soon. And um, he's a beautiful person. You know what I mean? He he reps the culture like y'all rep the culture. Him and B-Dot, B-Dot as well. Yeah, yeah, both of them, beautiful people. We, we beautiful need people. both outside. They yeah, be beautiful yeah. people. And um, at that time, I thought he didn't believe in me. But maybe I maybe I had to put in more work and I didn't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, because yeah. I was confused. Right. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. But I'm such a good guy. Wait, how long, you, how long was I this? I used the word maybe. This was like, um, when Tidal did um, the Barclays Center, they did a show. Remember they did a show at the Barclays Center? Who? who? Tidal did a Tidal. Barclays yeah. Center show. It was Tidal. a show. Oh. It was in Brooklyn. It was a show. Oh, oh. That was And a, I bumped into him backstage. That wasn't that crazy long ago. That was a while ago. It was like, um, I would say before, um, uh, I probably at that time, I probably had like, I wish you would out. And okay. Theraflu and all that type of records. Before I, I, the I, pandemic, so basically. Yeah, my, maybe Go Hard Air. I don't know. I don't remember. But it was it was damn near yeah. 10 years ago. I can tell you that. Right, but, okay, okay. Um, So it's just like we... I don't know how to be fake, Nori. Right, I respect that. You know, I don't know how to be fake. So if I... You, you never heard me tear somebody... I, I'm going to pull you to the side. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to call you. Or I'm going to ask you to step in the room. Let's have a talk. Right, yes. Or sit at the table. That's what's so beautiful about this table. Yes, beautiful. You... 
instead of bullshit, you know, people out there listening right now, you can get to the, ask somebody to come to the table. Right. right. Let's talk. Right. We don't have to like each other. We don't have to dislike each other. Right. We don't have to do nothing. Right. But we got to respect each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Real yeah. talk. And if you can get in a room and have that discussion of respect, after that, let's move on. Right. It's on you how you want to move on. Right. I came to you. I addressed our situation. Let's have respect. Right. Because, you know, we're not with no other stuff. Yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. gangster. I'm yeah. not none of that. Yeah, yeah. I represent love, but yeah. at the same time, I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man. So at that time, he was doing the crown, and he didn't give me the crown. And I had the crown hanging on me every day. <laughs> right, right, right. So I was, like, fucking confused. Yeah. You don't see the fucking crown? <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then I got the crown and sold out the crown. Right, right. Like, people hanging out, 10,000 people outside right, right. trying to get in the crown. Right. Fan love. They ain't believing us. Yeah. God did. God did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. It, yeah. <laughs> I love this energy. I'm so Love pizza. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I love this energy, man. So how, how? first off, um, let's, let's talk about Wild Thoughts for a second. Mm. Because at the time, not only did you have Rihanna, but you had like Bryson Tiller. Like, he, and at that time, I swear to God. Can I tell you a story about he that? He wasn't working. He wasn't working please, with no please. other artist. So how the hell did you First get? of all, Rihanna, I love you so much. Today right. I actually did a Fenty Sav X Fenty Savage shoot. I said it right? Savage X Fenty. I did a shoot today. Wow. Like on my model and shit. Wow. So um we re did, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. <laughs> I just got before I came here, I just did it. I'm not making this yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Before That's why we here. did the time we did, right? Before right, I right, came right, here, right, right, I was right. shooting right. a big Fenty shoot right. for Rihanna. That's fine. Want me to do a lot of you? Right. <laughs> Rihanna did. <laughs> she been did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so uh, <laughs> no. So Rihanna is beyond love. So Bryson Tiller. Uh, shout out to Bryson Tiller because we made a record. Me, Rihanna, Bryson Tiller, and shot a party next door. Right. Uh, right. I produced the record. Right. Party next door was part of, you know, some of the ideas, and not some of the ideas. Right. right. Some of the, the right. record. Right. Um, Riri jumped on it. Thank God. Right. Dream come true. Right. And I put Bryson Tiller on it. Mm -hmm. And we re loved the record. We got a hit. I never forget. Uh, re re changed the pitch of the record. Mm -hmm. I sent her so she changed the pitch to make it her. You know, when you're a, when you're a great artist, you make records your own. Right. right. And she's an icon. She's a great artist. So she she put her passion to it and and pitched the record up. That's crazy. Which was genius. It's wow. crazy though that she did that no, to your so record, yeah. That's I already had so. Bryson Tiller on it. So I had to call Bryson Tiller like, yo, has a change good news. <laughs> Riri re vocals is in. Yeah, Riri vocals is in. Great news. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to hear this shit? So I go to Bryson Tiller, I'm in LA. I go to Bryson Tiller's house in LA. I play the record, we all excited. I need you to cut your vocals over because the, now the music's pitched up. Right, right. Right. So you gotta cut your vocals over. Even me, I had to change my shit. Right. You know? Said no problem. I leave. I'm calling Bryce to tell my album come out like in two weeks. Yo, bro, I need you to pitch. I mean, I need you to cut the vocals over so, you know, you know right. Rihanna's vocals is in the air, right? right? Everybody excited. He not picking up his phone. No, Bryce is my brother. Right. You know, I think he's- Rich the Barber put him on yeah, too, right? Yeah, shout out to Rich the Barber. He had an album coming out, a surprise album coming out at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> so he not picking up my phone. I need this done. Need I got done. fucking Rihanna vocals. You got, you got Rihanna vocals. It's the in. biggest record of my, one of my biggest records in my career. He not picking up the phone. I jump in my car. I drive to his house. He has a gate. I'm flashing my lights, honking my horns, sending <laughs> texts. Nobody's replying. You think I'm playing with this shit? Uh, One thing about me, anybody know me, I don't play no games. Right. Eventually, he shot the Rich the Barber. He comes outside. Bryson comes out. They open the gate. I was already climbing the gate. <laughs> you think I'm playing? <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> Call them. Like when you. Put the show out, call them, get their version. Yeah, 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 get yeah. their version. It might be 
more intense. <laughs> they come outside. I say, yo, bro, I need the record. I need you to cut your recut your vocals. I gotta drop this record next week. Right. He did it. He was excited to do it. Right. I was just confused. Meaning as in, can you pick up your phone? Mm -hmm. Even Rich the Barber, that's my brother. Right. They were dropping a surprise album. Right. Dude, they said Breaking Tiller was like the hardest artist to to get out at that time. Like it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And he, he was. He was. He was. He's still special. Right. He's still incredible. Right. But at that time, right. it was like the the rise of you know I'm drunk, right? Right, right. No, it's like, I'm, I don't know if I'm. No, no, no. I don't know. No, you good. You good. You you sound sober. You sober. The rise right. of a new star, but very fucking potent. Right. right. Like his shows, people, Rihanna went to his show, Justin Bieber went to his show. Stars was coming out to his show. Right. Right. You know, it's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I knew that energy and I was a fan. I'm still a fan. Right. We make music to this day. You, you heard the record with him and Puff? Yeah, it's incredible. It's fantastic. It's fucking yeah. incredible. Yeah. Shout out to my brother Puff Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to um, Puff so Daddy. I just needed him to recut his vocals. For the Rihanna record. That's all I needed. He recutted them. But of course, you know, people don't, when, when you make albums, you know, deadlines are real. Right. right. They're real. When you say an album day like August 26th, God did come out. What do you think, I'm lying? Right, <laughs> it's coming right. out August 26th. Right, right, right. I need the fucking vocals already. Like, what are we doing? Like, let me mix it, let me master it, let me get this shit on the album. Right. So, it's a special story because I knew how big the record was before it even came out. And when my gut tells me something, it's like the holy grail. Mm. If I tell you my gut telling me something, just know we're gonna win big. Cause God did. Yeah, God did. So Wild Thoughts, um, shout out to Rihanna and Bryson Tiller and Party Next Door. Right. One of my biggest records, one of my favorite records and a very special story behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. God damn, let's make some noise for that. Hey. Now, now, this is one of the things I... Do you go to Dubai or you don't... I haven't been in Dubai yet, but... um, right. Not one, yet at all? No, I haven't. You know, I just started flying like... Well, well I knew that, that you weren't my son flying, is, right. My son is five years old. He about to turn six. So I've been flying for five years now. I stopped flying for like damn near 20 years. Wow, what happened? Tell yeah, us, what convinced you to fly yeah. to start with? And the, the privates is what I fly what now. Did. I fly now. The privates did. For sure. Um, Delta Airlines ain't believing you? No, One time we I had a terrible uh, private experience uh, on uh, our side. So, when I was, um, I went to go shoot the video for Grammy Family in LA. Me, uh, Kanye, John Legend, Consequence. And um, I think it was like BT Awards at the same time. We was all out there, Joe, me, my queen. We was all out there, excited. My first mm -hmm. album, Listen, it was called Listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I had Kanye West at his, like, where you can't get Kanye West. It's impossible. Right, right. right. impossible. He blessed me with our Grammy family. Right. So we shot the video in LA. Incredible record, right. He paid for the video, by the way, too. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was wow. crazy because, you know, you heard me, I don't know if he remembers the story, but my, I was signing a Koch, and Koch was like, yo, Kanye, want this, that, and that, and that. How are we gonna pay for this? You know, I'm broke then. Right. And I think he heard wind of that, and like, yo, I'm paying for the video. So thank you, Kanye, wow. appreciate Shout that. Shout out to Kanye, wow. man. that's um, dope. Wow. So the flight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He didn't know that. So the flight on the way back from LA to Miami, so we on the plane, it's me and my queen. Commercial or this is private? Commercial, I'm broke. Okay. okay. Uh, we take off, one of them big jets, take off, and they're like 20 minutes of the flight, that motherfucker went. These are like my wife. Boom. Like a big drop. We went, we went through this recently. Yeah. We're like, we're a big drop. <laughs> she did that with the private. But it wasn't like turbulence around. when the whole plane said, ah. Oh, the whole plane did it. It wasn't like it's me. The whole plane did it. So I'm bugging out. I don't like flying, period. I'm bugging out. I'm having a panic attack. Panic attack. I'm shaking. 
I'm bugging out. What airline is this? You remember? Delta, I don't American. remember. I don't remember. Don't remember so my girl, she got her feet up in the sky. Like, you know, like on the headrest. Oh, it's not girl? bothering her She's at all. She's drinking wine, laughing. And I'm telling her, like, yo, chill. <laughs> really chill. So I called the stewardess and I started holding her hand like, please help me. Please help me. And actually, Joe was on that flight and Joe turned around like... <laughs> Like, you know, but we, Joe wasn't flying for a while either. Yeah, as so I said, we twins, we oh, brothers okay. for real. He looking at me like I feel you. Like y'all care. He's checking on me as a brother, but I know he like bugging too. <laughs> so we 20 minutes to the flight, you know, LA to Miami's like five hours. Yeah, five hours, yeah. I just kept thinking, we're only 20 minutes in. <laughs> You mean I got another four hours and blah, blah, blah to go through? Right. I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> I'm holding the fucking store to say, please, man, please. <laughs> what, what, do you want, listen, what do you want her to do? What do you want her to do? I'm, I'm going to keep it real. It's not being soft. I'm scared shitless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then my queen, she, you know, I love my queen. You know that. <laughs> but she pissing me off. <laughs> She laughing, she drinking. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, you're soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all type of shit. Like, I'm like, yo, ma, stop. For real, I can't take this shit. Anymore. Like, I'm, one thing about me, I'm going to be honest and pure. So we finally land. I never forget. Even when we land, there was, you know, Miami rains once in a while. Even when we land, and we had a circle. The airport oh, to land. land. Right, it was yeah. Unbelievable. I never yeah. seen a five hour flight like this. <laughs> Unfucking believable. We finally land. When I land, AFN, I promise you, I kiss the ground. I kiss the ground. I said, I'm never flying again. <laughs> so now, remember, my first album just came out. I'm on fire. Uh, like, you gotta go here, here, here. I'm like, yo, listen, I'm not flying. He was on a tour bus at that time. So they know they gave me the tour bus to do an East Coast run. From Miami, you know, Miami, Tampa, St. Pete, then went to Alabama, Atlanta, Tallahassee, you know, the whole East Coast, right, Virginia, right, right. you know, DC, right. Philly, New York. Right. They gave me a nice tour bus. It was actually like nice. Right. Right. I said, why am I flying? This is amazing. <laughs> I mean, curry goat, right. I'm chilling, I'm bobbing the music, I'm on a tour bus. So I was like, I'm never flying again. So I didn't fly for like 15 years. Wow. I ended up buying my own tour bus. I had a tour bus that blew up on fire. Oh, that caught on fire on the side of the highway. Blew oh, up right side all of my highway. jewelry, all, all my sneakers, all my clothes. Because I lived on the road at that time. I had like seven doubles of clothes, seven doubles That's of sneakers. Right, I do remember that. Yeah, all wow. of it blew up. And I kept doing the bus. The bus beat me up. Like, I couldn't, I used to do Miami and LA back to back like every week. Mm. I, my driver would fly, I'm mean, gonna drive two days straight. To stop for gas only to get to Miami to LA. Wow. 15 years. Wow. So when I used to do a gig, the gig would only pay for the gas, the bus, not even the hotel room. So I was just doing gigs just to get my name just out there. Just to do there. them. Just to yeah, do just them. to do them. So to get my name out there. And I, and, and that's wild. That's you know, actually, crazy. that's wild. That's wild. It wasn't even enough money to pay for the hotel rooms. Cause but that I gas is very expensive. No, you just gotta put it out know, there. The bus business, the, the, you know, the, the bus gas business, for the bus is the crazy. Bus business is, is no disrespect when I say this, it's crap. Right. <laughs> like, it's a whole nother. Like you go, for, it's a lot of money. Right. Right. So when my son was born, Assad, I never forget. My biggest blessing came to my life. My son was born. I'm like, I love this boy so much. And I was in LA. I had to do the Billboard Awards. And my son was just born like maybe one month or two months, maybe one month or two months. Right. And I flew him in to meet me in LA to do the Billboard Awards. I want to be with my queen and my son. And while he was in the air, I was like, yo, I can't believe that I'm scared to fly. I got my fly son in the in. sky and I'm not with him. Yep. So when he landed, I said, yo, never again. Um, I'm gonna overcome my fear and start flying again. Oh. And the blessing was my career took off. took off. I could afford a private. I'm not saying to go get private because a private will break you. No, that's yeah. expensive but as a motherfucker. I fly private. Yeah. I'm being real with you. I just gotta work extra harder. Yeah. 
Right. So I only fly certain type of jets. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't fly them skinny little tubes that you see out there. <laughs> you, you see my shit. My shit's big. My shit's. We not doing that again. Like, my shit hold <laughs> in. My shit is straight in. Like, my I'm shit is special now. It costs. Right, right. Um. No, I'm just being honest. With you. It costs a lot of money. I, I, I don't. I don't like this habit. I, love this I do not like this habit. So. I started flying ever since my son was born. After he took his first flight or two, I was like, I refuse not to fly. If my son can fly in the air and I put him in the air, I gotta put me in the air. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But it's and crazy I overcome my fear. So don't get twisted. When that shit shake, I'm on the fucking ground holding a fucking chair. I'm scared shitless to this day. But I gotta do what I gotta do. And I can't believe it only takes two hours to get a place or five hours to get a place com compared to 24 hours. Right, 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 right. Thank God. God did. You think your, your kids could ever fly commercial? I won't let them. Okay. My wife, my queen, she wants to let them. Right. Like she always, she don't ever want me to book private jets. She wants me to go regular. Cause don't you got your, your But your I refuse to let them. Kids? I won't let them. And you. Don't you get your own school for your kids? We like, got, we, you know, when, like when the pandemic the came, we, we we built our own school. You homeschool them? Yeah, we homeschool. But we, it was it was but it was the whole community went to right. a house of school. When the pandemic was deep in the pandemic. You created the school. Yeah, and then right. now, you know, we back to normal and um I mean, well, we kinda back to yeah, normal. We know but all you, the way yeah, back you know what I'm saying? Normal. Like so but at that time, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I made sure that, that he was around education, but also around other greatness, you know, right. other kids and kings and queens. It's important for our kids to be around yeah, each you other. Build you know social saying? skills, like, right. You know, it's important, you know what I mean? The same way it's important for us to be around, you know, greatness. Right. You know what I mean? So that was important. Yeah, no, that's beautiful, man. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> so 13 albums. What are we going to do? What are we going to do after this? Is this... I mean, the way my album starts, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. Is that where we starting it off with? The way my album starts, there's nothing you can do about it. There's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. Good. Like, you know, like track one and two after that, like, like it's... It's part of the head top. You don't ever ever have to quit. <laughs> it's remember, I'm a fan. Right. Not only am I one of the the guys in the game that's doing it big, right. I'm a fan. Right. So know when I make my music, I'm making it as a fan too. Right. Not just because I'm good at what I do, right. but I'm making it because I love this shit. The minute it, this is my biggest album. It's the biggest. Biggest. And the minute I stop saying that, I won't make no more albums mm. again. I always say it's my biggest album. That's important. Because right. it is. Right. At that time. Right. This is my biggest. Right. This guy did when so. Will you, when will you know it's not the biggest album? When I just lose the passion for it. And I haven't lost the passion for it. Because right. I, I told you earlier, I, I eat, sleep, breathe hip hop. Is right. it about making the biggest records or having the biggest artist? It's about making the best song, the biggest song. Fire. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, I, I mean, the only thing I'm sounding like cocky when I say this, but like, I can work with anybody and make the, a great song. That's the blessing I got as a producer. But I'm blessed to also work with the grace to make and continue to make great songs for my catalog and their catalog. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I tell people all the time, it's not about the feature you get. It's about what you get out of them out of the and the song, how big it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I focus on the song. Right. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you get blessed because of the excitement of the relationship and the passion of what we do together. You get blessed for they be as passionate as I am. Right. And that's when like you make records like Staying Alive. Like Man. when Drake blesses you, I like what Drake like. Right. You know, I don't question Drake. Right, right. If he says the hi-hat needed to be this loud, I love it. You're in. I love it. How about Bad Bunny? You got, you got a record with Bad Bunny? I, have a, I worked with Bad Bunny before. I have vocals with Bad Bunny. You know, Bad Bunny originally was on You Stay. Mm. You know that? You Stay, yeah. You Stay. I have the vocals right now. Really? He was originally on You Stay. Cause, cause um, is, is that what you're going to do? You're going to do a little bit of reggaeton? I mean, I don't mind doing it. You know, okay. I, one day I want to make a whole Spanish album. Mm, that's like, you speak Spanish. Yeah, me sabe español, me sabe árabe, me sabe everything. I got to win. Vamos a hablar ahora mismo. 
Me sabe todo. Él lo sabe todo. Mi árabe, mi American árabe, me sabe español, me sabe todo. I'm a hustler. Right. Like, you know, I was raised, my mom speaks every language. Mm. Right. Listen, I don't want to get too deep. Because y'all going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> let, let, let me ask you something real quick, real quick. Serious shit. Mom is being real. Hold on, Khaled, Khaled. Serious question. A DJ is following your footsteps. They want to do what you do. How is an artist like yourself compiling these projects? How is it that you make the money? Someone might say, well, if you're not the artist that's getting the publishing off of the verses... How are you making your money on the projects? I mean, well, me, I'm a producer. Um, I come from DJing, and I'm an artist. Right. So anytime, if I say another one, or DJ right. Khaled, we the best, automatically. Right. You can't single beat. When Lil Johnny used to say, yeah. Publisher. Publisher. Pub, take that, take right. that. Right. But not even just that. I'm a producer. Right. right. But there's some records where I'm just, you know, if I'm blessed, I'm an artist on it because they came to the table with some greatness. Right. You know what I'm saying? So every record has a different story. You know what I'm saying? One thing I won't do is, um, how can I say, like, what I won't do is, people send me records all the time, but it has to make sense of what I'm doing. I'm not a shine freak. Right. When I say shine freak, I'm a, I want to be great. Like, when, when I say God did, when the album come out, you're going to understand what God did is. The sound of God did. The minute it starts to the end, you're going to hear a Khaled sound at that time. Right. If you notice, my records always have an uh, a anthematic sound. Right? You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know but that's there's a times word. Anthematic. where... a big sound, right? It's a, it's a big sound, yeah, right? It's, so when, I, when I'm fully hands-on... You know. I feel right. like that's the dub play background. Right. That's what I'm trying right, to right. You'll know when I'm fully hands on, and then you know when I'm blessed and I'm grateful to be able to collaborate. Right. Because, you know, that's what's about making music is about collaboration. Right. Not just, you know, artists, but it's about just, just everything, everybody in that room contributes from the engineer down to the producer, down to the artist, down to everything in that room is, is, is a collaboration. And right. we know you love everybody, right? But has there ever been a time where an artist didn't give you their all and you had to ask them to, to give you their all? And yeah, I, I mean, I, I got so much respect for 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 um, the people I work with. If I feel like it ain't right, yeah. um, I'm pretty good at, if I'm in the room with the person, I'm pretty good at getting it right. Because, for instance, when Shine first came home, yes. it seemed like Shine was off. Yes. Off, but it seemed like Shine right now. Right now, he got, his, is, he got is, the Shine voice. Yeah, he got When right, Shine yeah. first came home, he didn't have the Shine voice. Right. And it's crazy that me and Shine was talking about that. Right. Because when he was gone for that so long, yeah, so long of course. he didn't use his voice. Yeah. Right. Of course. So when you think about it, you're like, it's true. He didn't use his voice. Yeah. Imagine being in that situation. Yeah. You're not going to be talking to everybody. Yeah. Right. You're yeah. going to be keeping to yourself and you're going to be yeah. staying alive. Yeah. Yes, staying mm. alive. He come home. What a blessing. What yeah, an inspiration what yes. Sean is. Like, if you think about his story. Yes. It's incredible. The man also. The his... man. The man. Story. I can't wait to see a documentary on this guy. Right. So, he was in the studio the other day cutting dub play for me. And I'm like, yo, that, that voice is back. And you, and you got Barrett and Levy on it? With him right, y'all redid yeah, the record, I, I right? Yeah, I did dub play with me, Buju, oh, Shine. Oh, it's a dub play? It's a dub play. Oh, I thought you redid no, no, the record. No, 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 Me, Buju, Shine, and um, uh, Barrington on the Ooh, dub. That's you gotta crazy, remember, I, You know, though. I still cut dub play. That's crazy. I cut dub play just because I'm just so true to it, so pure to it, uh, and I want my kids to have all my dubs right. when they grow up. I just love this shit. That, that's an NFT I by love, itself. I love, you know I love dub physical. play. I still cut dub. I yeah. still cut dub. Right. I'm a sound killer. Right. <laughs> no, that's dope. That's dope. We, if we ain't established anything, we know that you are sound killer. No, 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 because I come from that. Yeah. So I'm never going to be be shy to say what I come from. Right. I come right. from sound. I'm a sound boy. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm. nobody can question that. What, what is your most... Proudest accomplishments besides your kids, we know that. My right? kids for sure, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, music-wise, if if uh, Leo told me a, 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 
a story one day. Leo asked me, he said, he said, if I cut you, what would you bleed? And I said, blood. And then Leo said, ask me the same thing. And I asked Leo the same thing. And Leo, uh, and I said, if I cut you, Leo, what you would bleed? He said, sucker MC. Then he asked me again. He said, so what would you bleed if I cut you? And I said, super thug. Mm. So if I, cut, if I was to cut DJ Khaled right now, what record would 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 DJ Khaled bleed? I would I, I wouldn't I would just one. I wouldn't I wouldn't even make it a record. Is it an album? Nah, I wouldn't even make it an album. It's what just is it? like I would have to praise God. You know what I'm saying? Like if I had to be cut and bleed, you're gonna see this God did. Right. And it's not about the album. Right. God did his album, yeah, but yeah. you know, God did is a real yeah. thing to me. Right. They ain't believe in us, Nori. Nah, it breaks my fucking heart. No, no, look at me, look at me. It breaks my heart. It, no, no, it breaks, yo, it breaks my heart. To have to see people that I know that, or, 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 or what do you call them, they or a hater? Right. You ain't believe in us? Right. You mean even now you don't believe in us? Right. You're breaking my fucking heart. But let's just be clear, Kyle. So it would be God did. If you see me bleed, just know God did. God did. But let's be clear. Yo, I don't very, believe. very, very successful person. Like, you know, we always feel people when we come up. I think Floyd Mayweather was like probably the only person that pulled up with 18 cars, right? Like, and and when people, but you pulled up, you got the $2 million uh, made back that pulls up. Four. Excuse me. They only make, I think they only have a few out there, but it's like four. But it's not about the number. <laughs> but I don't want you to lie. I don't want you to lie. I don't want, I don't want, want you to be accurate. Don't want you to be accurate. Don't I don't want right, to make right, you right. crazy I out there. You no, it's all love. Two Rolls Royces. Stretch Phantom. Stretch. Not the one that you get in the store yeah. at the dealership. The one that you have to order. The stretch. The, the stretch. one that your knees ain't on your neck. <laughs> you know, my shit is like... <laughs> no, no, there's, there's two of them. There's, one, there's a phantom, and your knees is on your neck, and there's one that's like mine was the vibe. <laughs> so, no, I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> and then, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, with all this success, what keeps you going? Like, because I've also been to your house uh, plenty of times, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be honest, you have probably one of the best houses I've ever seen in my life. In my life. <laughs> I, I, when I go to your house, I put the thing on. Even if you nah, tell you me that, you know, that. You, know, you know the things on you your toes. To you I put it on. I be, I be trying not to make what a mess at all. Toes? You know, because like, no, no, you know, no, because I got oh, live yeah. stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, I, you know, we have so little, I, little things for your footies. Oh, okay. Okay. We yeah, don't have footies. to do that. Yeah, we just no, have no, that just in no, case. No, no, no. Right. By the way, I never want to make a mess because I don't want to be the guy that makes a mess at the beautiful man. No, no. So how you how do you keep going after all this success? All this like most people get comfortable and they stop. And they'll all, or not even stop. They'll just get tell you exactly too how. comfortable and they don't work as hard as after that. When, how do you keep when, still to that path? When God believes in you, yes. not only do you show him how grateful you are, mm. you better fucking go harder and harder mm. because that man believes in you. Mm. The other day, my engineer called me. He was talking Warren? about... Yeah, Juan. Bigger Juan. I love Juan, but Bigger Juan. Juan's special. Right. I called Juan. The man talking like he on Drink Champs drunk. Mm. Like he's talking crazy. <laughs> He know we gotta turn the album. Take a shot for one. Yeah, yeah, the man yeah. talking like I'm like yo, bro, we gotta turn the album. And he's he's trying to tell me some. Ex I love one, you know, that's right. my engineer, my right. family. He's telling me like some type of excuse. Right. I had to yell on the phone and say, "This God did, man. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You mean God believe in us and you playing with this shit? Hmm. These motherfuckers don't believe in us and God did." Get your shit together, go fucking even harder because he believed. That's the shit I'm on. I tell everybody in my team, right. fucking God believe in us. Excuse my language. These people, you better fucking go harder. That's what I tell my team and I tell me. Yo, Nori, let me tell you something. This ain't no joke team. No, no joke you don't team. see no blinking, no shot, nothing right. in my eyes. Yeah. My as much as I drink yeah. Japanese whiskey, all that. Yeah. When it come down to the G-O-D, it's, it's no joke team. No joke team. I'm only here because of him. That's right. I'm only great because of him. That's right. He believe in us, not just me. Yes. He believe in all of us. Yes. That's we got to right. acknowledge that. That's right. And when you know that, you're only going to do better because you know better and you're going to go even harder. And you're not going to worry about all that other weird shit. You're going to fucking go hard. God damn it, man.
Yo, re really quick though, I want I want to dedicate this shot to a mutual friend of, of mine and Khaled's that passed away. Roll up. Oh, that believes man. in both of us. Man, roll up, man. Yeah, he was, he was a Flavor dude. Nation. Yeah. Flavor Yo, Station, up. man. Yeah, God yeah, bless. Roll up passed away. He passed away a while ago, yeah. Long yeah. time ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He you know, passed away you know, a while EFM, ago. You know, you know, Nora, you know, EFM. You know, I get excited to get on the show, especially, you know, yeah. Nora, you're a legend. Yeah. You know that. But also, you're a partner in EFM. He's a legend. He's a legend. Appreciate it. He's that. definitely a Miami legend. I know that Super for a Miami fact. Miami legend. Super and, um, it's so beautiful for, to, to be around somebody I really know. Yes, he knows. You know, of yeah, DJ Khaled, yes. I know these brothers too. Yeah, I yeah, really yes. know. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this real talk. Mm -hmm. I'm actually know before all, before me and you, man, right. all that, they know. Right. right, So it's, you know, when he brings up Roll Up, that was a brother of ours that was so pure to the hip hop game, yeah. that loved us so much, that would, would do anything for us that would sponsor all our he, parties. Yeah, he invested in every wow. every one of us. All wow. our parties would right. put up a bag up for us to see us win. Wow. You know, to be out there passing out flyers with us, to have a clothing store. Wow. You know what I mean? God bless him, man. You know, if you look at one of my old videos, me doing my Peter Piper back to back, he was beside me. It was me, Craze, and Roll Up. Wow. You know what I mean? Zulu Nation, Shout out all Craze, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, when he brings his name up, I just gotta give him his flowers, because wow. that's our brother, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's our brother, you know that? Now, yeah, he's a real one. Now, yeah. also Connors, My brother, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Yeah. Uh, Connors, but what are you drinking? Is that a spritzer? Um, what is that called? This one is actually Casamigo. Oh, wow. um, it's I'm taking, I'm gonna we take did, a pizza. We did yeah, bring the spritzers though. Good. Um, I've been on this lately. Um, so I'm on my Deleon, I'm on my um, Lobos. Lobos, yeah. I'm Bigger, on my LeBron, um, Belair. And Mav Carter. I'm on my Ace. I'm on a bunch of vibes, right. um, but I went I went this vibe today because what was the other night? Jamie was in the studio and and I was like, yo, this this is like a vibe. It's, it's hit me. It's a little cranberry, a little star fruit. You know what I'm saying? So it. Chef Melissa put in one of these little vibes for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at the crib, she got it with fucking pineapple hanging yeah. out, with a fucking tree coming on the side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with a hot rag to wash her face off. Like, you know, she smell like milk. Right, right, right. You know, first class. believing us. First God class. did. It's Melissa did. Yo, you better believe it's it. It's Melissa did. Yeah. Man, I can't wait for you to hear this, yes. this whole verse. This whole verse, yes, because I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't hear him talk like that since. And we can't say who we on the record with. Nah, now. I don't want to because okay. um don't, we don't have to. You know, it's gonna start, you know, it's gonna be the start off my album. Oh, this is the first record. That's yeah, why well, you there's said a, there's a there's a thing that comes in, which is unbelievable. That comes in that brings it in. Mm. Yeah, it's the start. It's the start of the album and um Can we say how many other people's on the record with the go? Is there other goats on oh, there? Oh yeah, with? all goats. Okay. All goats. Yeah, he can't play with this shit. Yeah, he can't play. <laughs> yeah, he can't play with this shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I pinch myself every time I hear it. So, so if I say a name, I don't, don't even do that. Because it, <laughs> no, it's just I know it's Dream Champs. I know it's like, but like really, like this is this is a gift to the world. It's a gift to the world. So let's just let the world get it. Yeah, they gotta get it. They gotta get time. it. No problem. Because. It's unbelievable, and then like, like I said, the big goats, they, they, they came. Not once, but twice. Yeah, some of them came twice. Right. It's, it's really unbelievable, man, like, it's unbelievable. God bless you, God bless you. Uh, 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 uh. Let's make some noise. Is DJ Khaled happy? Yeah, I am. Yes. I've probably been the happiest I've ever been in my life. Um, and I would have to give the credit to God, my kids, and my queen. Mm. If I was down, all I have to do is see my kids. Right. I'm very happy because of all the accomplishments I've, I have conquered throughout my career. I'm very happy of my growth. I'm very happy with my patience. Right. I'm very happy with my um, me controlling my emotions. Mm. I'm very happy with 
my decisions um I'm very happy Nori because I'd be disrespectful to say I'm not yes. because we have life we bless We're blessed um is it am I human yes. do we go through hard times do we go through depression do we go through vibes of course we do right. but it's how we deal with it yeah. and I'm proud of proud how I deal with things but I'm super excited and super proud of just all the accomplishments that we've done because everything I'm doing and everything I've done they said I couldn't do right. like literally told me I, I could not do none of this shit right. I have accomplished so I'm very proud of that. I know that's from God's blessing. And now I got my kids, so now I'm a superhero. Nah, super. Like I like I got special powers now. Right. So I'm like, I've I've been going hard. Now my kids is here, I'm like. Beautiful. I'm like, yeah, not just beautiful, like unstoppable. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. I'ma make sure that everybody good. You know what I'm saying? Then I got a beautiful team around me. Yes. You know, my circle tight, man. I keep yes. it I keep it tight. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I got nothing but good vibes around me. Kiko. You know what I'm saying? Kiko, Patty, Jamie, Chris Smokes, Chris Smokes Ivan, um, my queen, my kids, right. um, Lenny S, yeah, yes. you know, Courtney, Courtney, Patrice. There's so many of so many of us, Nelly. I don't want to go into all the names, I don't want to forget nobody. Right. But my team is the definition of teamwork make a dream work. Mm. God damn. And I want everybody out there from a new artist, a producer, or anything that you try to do in life as an entrepreneur, it take it it take to have a good team with you. Right. Yeah, you could do it yourself. Yeah. Cause you know, I tell my team all the time, they'll tell you, I'm not shy about this. Right. I'm gonna get it done regardless. Right. <laughs> That's what keeps them strong. And then, then they, then they, then they, then they, I'm drunk, but then they get even greater. I watch the greatness come out of them even more. And I watch them do things on their special projects where they're turning into different type of bosses. Right. And I'm like, I love that. Right. And I know that this energy we got is special. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause. Let's make some noise for that. Yeah, it's special. <laughs> so, Taking a shot, you said? No, 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 uh, no, no, no. We back on regular drinks. We back on regular uh, drinks. Regular drinks. Holy moly, God. Yo, Kyle, I, I can't I can't thank you enough, man. Yo, let me just tell you something, man. Um, your energy is beautiful. We believe in you, even when they didn't. That's right. We here yeah, for you. Um, uh, you're not only uh, a, 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 a DJ icon. You're not only a producer icon. You're just an icon in general. Uh, the things that you continue to do and continue to monkey for and continue to produce records and records and hits after hits and classic albums after classic albums, I want to tell you to your face, you're appreciated. Thank you, brother. You are special. Thank you, brother. You are cloth talk. Thank you. You brother. are an icon. And we appreciate you. In case you didn't know that, we want to tell you face to face. We want to give you your flowers, you know what I mean, to your, to your face because... We haven't seen nobody do that. Like when I said earlier, you're the Quincy Jones. Of this generation. Of this generation. Right. I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? And I heard you say that. I'm a student. Yeah, but, but no, no, let no, me no, finish no. giving you a flowers. No, 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 I appreciate that. And and, right. and, and I want to be clear, because you know, I know when, it, when, when when people say stuff like that, you know, that's such a big name. Right. right. But I, I know what you're saying. You are generation. No, and I appreciate that. Beautiful, I appreciate bro. that. And I really, really beyond you, you that, that you saying that and, gonna and, make me go even harder. And you know what the analogy is, is like Quincy was the only one who could work with Michael Jackson. Right. You got Michael Jackson in both versions. You got you got Hove at your dispense and you got fucking Drake anytime you want. That's beautiful. I'm very like, grateful for my brother. That's beautiful, Beyond bro. grateful. Anybody act up, I let a Hove go. Oh, I that. let another Drake go too, and I got it. But <laughs> hold on, you know, you're getting me turned up because I got it for real. Another Drake. Of course. Another By one? himself? 
Yo, Nori, this DJ Cal this God dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, 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 it breaks my heart if you question him. <laughs> don't do this. I love you. <laughs> I'm not questioning. No, no, no. no. Please we don't, don't want do to break your heart. Like, I, 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 don't, <laughs> don't do this to me. Like, we don't want to break. Like, we want to keep your heart together. Man, I was just—it's so crazy. That I was thinking when you brought his name up. It's like I'm just thinking about no new friends. Right. Like, it's crazy how many records we got together. Mm. Like I, when I was going over some of them, right. I, it's a new one pop up in my head is right. now. Right. It's such a blessing, man. Like to have the goat, you have the goats that work with you. Holy beyond shit. grateful, beyond thankful. Holy he shit. know that, and I make sure I show it too. Right. We, as family. Right. Both of them. Right. And do we still spell Canada? D R A K. E, I like yeah. what Drake like. <laughs> All right. Like, I ain't playing with this shit. Oh, my God. I, love this shit. I ain't playing with this shit. You know what? I say things that people want to say or afraid to say or um, insecure to say. I like what Drake like. You know, <laughs> I think I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> like, no, people don't. Let me tell you something. When you get an opportunity to work with a Hove or a Drake, right. it's like not only do we like what they like, give thanks that we can have a discussion of what we like. Right. You have the opportunity. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. There's a reason why. Let's go ahead and take you another shot. Yeah, yeah, me, take a me. shot, because yeah, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you rocking and rolling? This oh, I like. Who joining me on I'm this one? I'm focused now. I like this with Nas. This ain't that game. I like with Nas. You want a shot? You know I saying? like with Nas and Hope like it. They like Japanese whiskey. Yeah. So yeah. I like it, No, too. I love it. I love it, but I can't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> shit falling out, all type of shit. Yeah. So, um, Get this mama Juana. You know, you got to, you got to, these guys are special. Like, you know, first of all, Jay-Z, with Jay-Z, we wouldn't be doing nothing we'd be doing if it wasn't for a Jay-Z. Right. That's the truth. So how did this record happen when you got him for this? Did you call him? Because I came to see him to play in my album. Okay, this is when y'all in Rock Nation. I went to go see Ho. I always go see Ho, even Wait. if it's not for a record right. or not. I just go see my brother for his blessings, for energy. And you drink Ace of Spades. I always let him pick my album covers too. Oh, wow. Word? Yeah. I show him like two options and I let him pick out of those options. Right. Um, always, That's I can't wait for you to see this cover. Yeah. But, um, so I went to go see Ho, and I was blessed for him to put me in his schedule. Right. And I played him my album. And- He picked the record, he said, I want to I played him my album. Uh-huh. You know, obviously I knew, like, I would love to get you on this one, but there were so many other ones I wanted to get him on, to, but I knew this particular one, it's nothing we could do about it. Right. I don't even have to ask you. Just the love of music mm-hmm. is going to one. one that's going to what inspire you to rap. You got to remember, music is a, is is a powerful thing. Absolutely. Now you can ask somebody to get on all you want, but if the music speaks to you, right, it's not to talk about. Wait, but this is the exception to the rule that you don't want opinion. You don't show the music. Yeah, but I played on my whole album. So it's the exception to the rule, yeah. right? No, but no, 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 no. I'm asking for an opinion. I'm playing him my whole album, but I'm also telling him, you do know I need you. Right. So I'm playing to the one I need, uh. but he, so you, let me just skip real quick. At the end of me playing my whole album, he told me I made my best album. Right. This one. Hove said I made my best album. Wow. He proud of me. Wow. You really did your thing, and this is your biggest album. Wow. That's what he told me. Right. The record that he's on, I can't even lie to you. Can I tell you the truth? Please. Don't lie to me. You know, the album comes out August 26th. Hope, you know you're my brother. I'm not saying nothing wrong. You know, he asked for four records. To be on four? my album. To be on four of them. No, 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 I didn't say to be on four. He told me to send me, send him four records. I sent him four. He already did a record. When I sent him the four, he did the record that and it, you're hearing the rumbles about. Right. right. And he wanted four is, more? Which is... He wanted three more. Unbelievable. Hove did. <laughs> Remember I told you. Right. Remember I told you. 
And I'm not taking no talk back. <laughs> you see me blink yet? <laughs> not at all. Okay, no, 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 no. I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want other people to say what I want to say. Right. That's how big it is. I'm going to let other people say well, it. Well, Lenny S made it clear. He said Guru made bad. it clear too. And Guru, yes. And there's other people that heard that. Right. You know, people flying into my house to hear this. Right, right. People flying in probably where hoes at. I don't when know. When I was leaving your house, I was hearing Juan mix it a little bit. I was being very noisy. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, 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 it's yes, unbelievable. Yes, yes, yes. What I'm shot, saying is I gave, him, oh, I gave him four records because right. he requested four records. Right. I didn't say he's on four records. Right. So hmm. far, he's on. So up. That's the one and there's three more. I said he requested Man, you say four he records. got on three more. When he said send four records, I sent him four records. <laughs> Okay, one of them came back. The album comes out August 26th. Last Minute Magic, I don't... You got lots of records. You, when you work with Hove and you work with... You don't ask questions. You don't ask questions. You like what Hove like. I love it! Yeah. You love what Hove like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, when the verse came back, first of all, I'll be real with you. And, cause it's my record, I don't want it. So, so Lenny, unbelievable. Lenny but heard it first, or Lenny and, and Guru obviously Guru heard it immediately. Right. You know that FaceTime picture that I posted up with me and Guru and Lenny. Yeah. That's me actually hearing the record, and I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Right. Yo, Nori. Right. He's talking that shit. Now this, right. this fucking hole. Right. But he's talking. Okay, let me help you out. Describe the situation for us. Hove did, and when I say Hove did. That is you go, you're gonna know what Hove did. Right. It's it's big. It's not only big. I don't, I'm not gonna say what I want to say because I'm gonna let other people say it. Mm. It's one of his best verses. Ever. No, 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 no. He got too many best verses. Right. We're not gonna we're not gonna go there. Right. But I hear you. Right. I hear you. <laughs> I'm not going there because I don't want to start this rumble. Like y'all can't this. You know, he's, when you talking about ghosts like this, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Is it unbelievable? Is it incredible? Is it? Yes, it's <laughs> the definition of the best, right? Am I crazy or what? <laughs> like, so you're saying the right thing. I'm just saying this. <laughs> But this is this is more than you expect. I remember I told you. Right. I don't want to go too deep into it because I want you to get the album August 26 and you're gonna understand. Oh, I know what he's saying. Yes, it's definitely in it's it made his catalog. Right. Like to like, if you put a greatest hits out, you're gonna put it on there. Mm. Right. Like it's gonna be that's one a, of that's them. That's a big thing so, to so say. Let's establish who's I mean, on the album. I mean, right? it, it feels, it feels like say. that. I'm gonna let y'all say it. I'm gonna let y'all say it. So let's establish who's on the album right now. We got hold. Fully, vocals are in. We got, in, in. We got Drake, vocals are in. Vocals with an S. Uh, but, so I'm sorry, Trey, when, are we establishing one vocal, two vocal, three vocals? S, you don't understand English? <laughs> in Spanish, too. <laughs> Mucho, <Yeah>. Drake's, <laughs> Jay-Z's, too. Mas. Jay-Z's? No, 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 don't, no, don't, don't, don't try, I'm, I'm drunk. Now we're trying to establish it. I told you he did a verse which is unbelievable. Yes, it's and classic. And then Drake's plural. Yes, it's incredible. Yes, it's everything you heard. The Rumbles is out there. Right. It's unbelievable. Uh. I pinch myself. Uh. I pinch myself. <laughs> I listen to it on the way here. I'm going to listen to it on the way back. I'm going <laughs> to listen to it again because it's unbelievable. <laughs> So we got Jay-Z, we got Little Baby, we got Drake. We got Drakes. everybody. You said Drake's. Drake's. We got Drake's with an S. With an S. <laughs> and anybody act up will get more. <laughs> right. they, they, give, they give it to him. <laughs> That's my brother. Right, 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 right. First of all, when Cal and Drake connect, you know it's, come on. It's something special. It's always special. Right. Stop. What's the first one I'm on with? What's the first one? The first one? one was Fed Up. Oh, Fed Up. Okay. Fed Up, he did like uh, eight bars on that. It was like, you know, everybody on it. My first time working with him. Right. Um, and then the second one was, I'm on one. yeah, I'm on one. And that's when and it, that's the whole it, yeah. shit shifted. It changed my life. That's a crazy record. Yeah. And I'm forever grateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's my brother, man. Like, like, me and him are really like, we connected. You know what I'm saying? Right. Family. Right. Not just him, his whole team. Right. right. We the best over y'all. Big up Chubbs. Yeah, Chubbs. Shout out to Chubbs. Future the Prince. Future the Prince family. Bring them all up. Bring them all up. Right there. 
Damn, damn, yo, Carla, I ain't gonna lie to you. You gave us everything we needed. And then we didn't so. have to go into no bag that we didn't want to. We didn't have to go to no negative bag. We went straight. Yeah, positive. I mean, you there's know, no negative bag. There's no, no negative bag. I mean, bag. It's no, there's nothing negative over here. We yeah, blessed. Right. Um, and and like we started off the interview, we love everybody. Yes. You know. Yes. You could say anything. We love everybody. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's so important. I think we all need to say that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? This is, you know, right now this world is. Um, you can either get caught up in it or you can help it. Right. And that's true. I want to be one of those guys that can help the world. Mm. I'm a father, I got kids. I want my kids to grow up with love around them. So I have to be an example of it. I can't just preach about it and not show it. Mm -hmm. um, that's the type of person I am. So I, I, I encourage everybody to love more. That's right. Don't take shit too serious. Right. That's right. Protect each other. Protect our brothers and sisters. Protect our our art. Show support each other. There's no reason to tear nobody down. There's no That's reason right. to hate nobody. Right. right. It's just for what? You're wasting your time, man. Use that time to to win more, to love more. Um. Learn to forgive if it's able to have forgiveness. Right. And if it's not, then don't make it away. into nothing lock else. Away. Keep it moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a preacher, but I'm talking from a man of experience. I'm talking about life, and I'm talking as a father, too. You know what I'm saying? Shots? April 26th, we on the head top. No, August 26th. August 26th, I said April? Yeah. Okay, I'm bugging out. <laughs> that whiskey got you. What's up? August 26th. What's up? August 26th. God damn. Yeah. We on their head top. Cha cha. God damn, you gotta sip, Kyle. It don't count. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, Kyle, we, got we appreciate you so much. we thankful. Um, August 26th, we're gonna be out there. We're gonna take it back to Street Team. Yeah, we're doing that. Shout out to Shampoo. Like that. Yeah, um, shout out to Shampoo. Shampoo after this, because I'm, I'm gonna, I need yeah. him to be part YMVS. of it. YMVS. Yeah, he always part of all my campaigns. Yeah. Shout out Shampoo. But man. I was having a meeting with, um, no, we the best epic team. And I was like, yeah. yo, I want to take it back to the grassroots. Yeah. You know, the pandemic's yeah. over. Let's have, um, I, I, I kept bringing Shampoo's name up. Right. Let's get back to that. I, I love that shit. Yeah. You know, um, Street team. Yeah. That's the area we all that, you, gotta, you gotta show people that you work for your shit. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, some of these people don't, won't even post their own shit up. Right. right. Not me. I'm putting pressure on you. Right. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a put that pressure on you. But I'm gonna put pressure of greatness. Right. We, do oh, yeah. we just gotta do pictures and uh, promo. That's it. Oh, we done. Picture. Let's take a picture. Yeah.